good evening and welcome to yet another episode of Late Night Siege. Of course, joining me to my side, as always, is Dev Mata. How are you tonight, man? Good. And uh, once again, it's the age-old question, is my go dog going to leave me alone or is he going to just <laughs> sit there? And it is actually sit there <laughs> tonight. He is going to be joining us, but he's snoozing on the job. So I don't know. We'll see. see. It'll, uh, it'll come up in his performance review later. Classic bed. Um, and look, we're not just uh, alone here. It's not just the two of us plus Baird, of course. You do see a third person. It is Guz. You might know him from some casting in Rainbow Six. How are you tonight, Guz? I'm going well. How are you guys? Good. Feeling wow, pumped. That's classic <laughs> caster move right there. Just throw it yeah, right back. Just, yeah, you, just, can yeah, this, this you can I'm tell this this man's You can tell this man's a play-by-play -play <laughs> caster, can't you? Yeah. yeah um thanks for coming on tonight guys yeah we got some good stuff to talk about um you know we we introed you as a cast but it's not the only thing you're known for you've been streaming really actively on twitch recently which is awesome to see yet another anz content creator especially one involved with esports um and you've also been getting right into that tiktok uh grind as well man so i mean why don't you just start by telling us a bit about who you are where you came from and what you've been doing over the last however long it's been that you've been involved in rainbow six yeah, so for those of you who don't know, my name is uh, Michael Gurry. Um, I go by the online persona of Guz. Um, and I mean, my sort of relationship with Rainbow Six goes way back. Um, of course, for those of you who don't know, Rainbow Six is under the Tom Clancy banner. Um, and even as far back as like early 360 days, I was playing games like um, Ghost Recon, Advanced Warfighter, when that was like a mil sim. Um, Splinter Cell, I really enjoyed sort of the tactics of that. And then... Um, when Rainbow Six came along, I remember playing the beta. Um, I was at my grandparents for some weird reason. I don't know why on that weekend, but um, they had terrible internet. Um, the servers back then were nowhere near as good as they were now. Um, and I think I queued for like several hours and maybe played like a handful of games, but um, I, I really enjoyed it. And this was back in the day when you would literally lie in the objective for three minutes and wait for something to happen. But the intensity of it and everything uh, still lives up to today. And I really enjoyed that aspect. Um, I started on Xbox um, for two years before later transitioning to PC. Um, I actually upgraded my PC um, to do sim racing, but I thought at the same time, hey, why not jump on the Siege bandwagon? Um, and I never went back to console from there. I just continued to grind um, on PC. Um, then late 2018, I started uh, sort of giving streaming a go. That was around the, at the time I was like finishing year 12 as well. Um, and then leading into 2019, I thought, hey, it'd be a cool idea maybe to do some casting um, as a way to sort of cross promote my stream and get my name out there a little bit. Um, never expecting casting to go anywhere <laughs> at all. Um, and for those of you who don't know, the first person I ever interacted with about casting was actually Dev. Um, I messaged him to um, cast an EGN pug night. And for those of you who don't know what that is, that was basically a random 5v5 with tournament settings um, just for bragging rights, essentially. Um, so yeah, I casted that for several weeks, maybe months, I can't quite remember. Um, and then uh, later transitioned into um, casting like Challenger League, um, Southeast Asian Pro League. Um, and then the first paid casting work I actually did was Six Masters 2019, the online calls for that, um, which is really enjoyable. Um, learned a lot from that. Um, and then fast forward to the end of that year, so the end of 2019, um, I got a, a random DM one day from Jordan, who's the head of talent at ESL. And he's like, hey, are you busy? Do you want to cast the last week of Pro League? And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and, uh, oh, you guys have no idea how nervous I was. That. About the three days leading into that, I struggled to eat. I was a nervous wreck. It was terrible. I mean, I struggled to watch the VOD back. It was not pretty. Um, Dev was definitely uh, carrying me through that one. Um, yeah, I was going to say Dev casted with you, right? Yeah, yeah. No, oh, that was, yeah. Oh, was, anyway, was moving first, forward. It was your first time traveling into state for work as well, wasn't it? Because you had to jump on yeah. a plane to Sydney. That must have been a pretty yeah. surreal moment for you. If you're nervous and then ESL is like, hey, we're going to pay you to get on an airplane <laughs> and fly to yeah. Sydney. We're going to pay for your transport and you're going to go to the studio and we're going to put you up in a hotel. Like that must have been surreal. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, and on top of the stress I was already feeling, the flight was delayed. I don't know if you remember that, but the flight was delayed and like, oh, was, everything was going wrong. Um, but we got through it, um, you know, none the wiser. Um, and then I ended up carrying on into sort of 2020 and did season 11 of Pro League. And that's when I started to cast more with Raven. Um, and we've basically been best buds since in the casting department. Um, 
And yeah, now I'm doing Six Masters 2020, which is where you've probably seen me. Um, we're on the main channel. Um, yeah, still playing Siege, casting Siege. Um, and I guess the main detail I missed out there was, was the content creation as well. So the streaming, i um, been doing that quite a bit recently. And that's really off the back of TikTok, which I know people are going to say it's the cringiest platform ever. And I agree. I was at the start, I was a massive skeptic. Um, it took me several months of a friend convincing me to even get on the platform um to get involved um and during quarantine i was sort of like sitting around thinking what's a way that i can you know make some make some more content um and i thought hey siege it's a bit of a niche people might enjoy it i'll give it a crack um, and then it literally blew up i think my first video got like three hundred thousand views or something now um the next few got like over 100k it was absolutely crazy um and yeah i've really been able to sort of grow that um and transition that into the stream which has been a lot of fun and that's basically where we are today. I hope that was a decent little story. <laughs> well, actually, I wanted to wind it all the way back to one of the yeah. first things you said. You talked about how, like, the ancient siege thing to do was just lay down and wait for three minutes. And, like, that was all you did. Um, I recently discovered an old video that I captured on PlayStation 4, which is where I first played the game. It was literally me getting an ace prone next to the bomb. I just knifed <laughs> yeah. everybody. Like, yeah, that was the strat. Thinking about that being possible, like, oh, yeah. it's, a, it's uh -huh. insane how, like, the game has changed. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So you mentioned TikTok. Your content on that platform, like, I know there's all kinds of stuff on TikTok. Mostly it's, like, humor-based content. But your content, in my understanding, I mean, I, I actually still need to watch a lot of your content. <laughs> it's it's tutorial-based, right? Yeah, so I'd say probably like an 80-20 split between like informative, more so like serious videos and then maybe like a small percentage of more like comedy sort of based stuff. Um, and then in that 80% of like informative videos, um, I have some like series running. So like for a period there, I was doing like an operator guide a day. Um, uh, more recently, I've been doing a lot of content sort of explaining the new patch notes and all that kind of stuff so people have a better understanding of what that all means and how that fits in. Um, and then I guess in that 20%, I've done videos about stuff like um, like things you forgot about Siege and it's just like a nostalgia trip, <laughs> you know, like bringing up like all the old stuff that's been changed or whatever, just stuff like that. Um, Getting a knife face next to the bomb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, some of my favorites would be like uh, like old Hereford, drop shotting, uh, rematching. Do you guys remember rematching? Were you guys yeah, around back I then? I love that stuff. Oh, that yeah. was crazy. Yeah, rematching yeah. was actually so much fun because you can you would lose to a team, and then you would be like, "No, that's not good enough. I want to play them again so we can <laughs> beat them." And I remember that happening. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, cool. So uh, quite a variety of content, and as you mentioned, you also stream. Um, is that like a regular thing for you? Do you have a schedule or is it just when you feel like it? Do you mostly stream Siege? Yeah, so I don't necessarily have a schedule as such, but there have been periods over the last sort of month where I've been streaming at least once, maybe twice a day. Because um, I guess looking at sort of my analytics on TikTok and, and Twitch itself in terms of the audience that I'm pulling, you'll find that I think over half my followers on TikTok are from America. So obviously the time zones don't match up as well if I'm streaming during the night. So there have been occasions where I've woken up early, um, done a couple of hours of streaming, um, had a break and then streamed later that night or just done the one a day or whatever the case may be. Um, the last sort of day or two, I've sort of just decided to take a step back because obviously um, I think this is something that a lot of people don't really think about with content creation is it can get pretty easy to be burnt out and I don't want to be streaming Siege and not enjoying it. Um, so yeah, just taking a break, chilling with you guys, having some fun, I guess. Yeah, I know yeah, we are... Uh... <laughs> We, us three, are definitely uh, common ranked teammates. <laughs> the scourge yeah. of the ANZ community. I love yeah. it. <laughs> um, I see a couple of your emotes in chat as well, so it looks like a bunch of your viewers. Anyone who's come in from the, the States or from Guz's TikTok or, or uh, Twitch or what have you, welcome, guys. Um, and also, I'll just say that we do have um, kind of a Q&A section at the end, but if you've got questions... Feel free to just chuck them in at any point. We'll try to answer them. If we don't answer them at the start, just ask them again at the end when we actually have um, a, a spot for it. Someone from the UK, ANZ. That's awesome. Yeah, good stuff. So why don't we just touch on what we want to talk about later in the episode. The guide stuff that we want to do today is uh, you picked Cafe and Wamai for tonight. Why did you pick Cafe as your map and Wamai as your operator pick? Us? Yeah, so a question I get often several times a stream is what are your favorite maps what are your favorite operators so i've decided to sort of try and 
in a way answer those questions indirectly so i guess the first part of that being um were my um i myself don't necessarily have favorite operas that i play globally on every map on every game mode i'm more so someone um, that will stick on operator for a specific site for example i'm sure you guys might know playing with me like smoke on yellow stairs consulate mm. or um i don't know whatever the case may be but well my for me on cafe has become a little bit of a staple um especially on some specific sites and scenarios so i guess they go hand in hand and that's why i've selected those two options i mean diving into cafe a little bit more i guess it's a map that um i was actually looking at today is almost a year old it's kind of hard to believe that it's a year old reworked that is obviously because it was in from the start um but it was released i think in uh, phantom site um, and it was announced at the last Invitational, the previous one, like 2019. So um, it's a map that I think has developed a long way. It's a pretty fun map. I enjoy casting it. So why not show some tips? I don't have the stats on this. Nuts. Yeah, I mean, being a year old, right? That's. I feel yeah. like it feels older than that because we've been playing it in Pro League even before in the old yeah. cafe, right? Um, but I just forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> wow, I, know. I had it. I'm priesthood <laughs> <laughs> I actually had it, and now I'm just going to sit in the corner and try and think of what I had to say. Please, just give me a moment. Okay. Well, what I was going to say is uh, both like <laughs> it feels like I've been playing Cafe for a long time. There's been a lot of classic uh, competitive matches, especially within APAC as well on Cafe. Um, the, the battles between Airwolf and mm. Fnatic come to mind. Um, but also, yeah, I can't believe it's already been a year since that rework came out. It the opposite. feels like it was only a couple of seasons ago, but... I'm the opposite. I feel like yeah. it's been there for ages. I don't know why. Like, <laughs> you know, we've had, like, Theme Park come in into the eSports yep. scene since then, and we've had new maps like the, the uh, Oregon rework as well. Cafe feels like ages ago for me, and by the way, I did remember what I was going to say, and it was that I'm pretty sure, I don't have the stats on this, but I'm pretty sure Cafe is the most played map in Six Masters at the moment. At least it was Cafe and Clubhouse for a few weeks going on, and I have I know Cafe got played in this past week and Clubhouse didn't. So I have a feeling Cafe is edging out on top. So not only is it, as you're saying, uh, you know, a really interesting map, good one to talk about, but it's really relevant, especially for the ANZ scene at the moment. Yeah, I, I agree. I yeah, just thinking about that probably is quite a topical map. Um, I feel like, yeah, I've casted it a lot, or we've casted it a lot, Raven. Um, oh, but yeah, as I said, it's a, it's a map that I really enjoy, and I think it's also one that um, recently in ANZ, some of the teams have been taking pretty vast, vastly different approaches in the way that they're sort of attacking and defending it, which is, I think, again, just um, made it more intriguing to sort of engage with because it's not always the same thing over and over. Yeah, cool. Do you guys want to jump in and start playing it? Start talking about it? Let's do it. Let's, Let's do go. It. <laughs> All righty then. So, um, I don't know if you, some of you guys, we've got some people watching in from YouTube, we've got some people watching from Twitch. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining in. Um, we've got some people on Twitter as well, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, Raven, you're the lobby host, right? Why don't you chuck us in the custom game? Yes. All right, I'll quickly getting that set up. I'll give you a minute to do that. Um, yeah, if you guys want to know anything specific about Cafe, um, if there's anything that you have found like difficult, maybe you're playing, you're like, I don't know where to sit on the bomb site, anything like that, feel free to chuck those questions in and we'll address those. We're going to go through every bomb site um, so that you have an understanding of how this plays out. We can talk a little bit about how it plays out at the pro level, but I think something we also like to focus on here is how it functions just at a, in a regular kind of, you know, Joe's booting up ranked after work to, to have a few games. <laughs> um, so, um, and you know, the, the, the strats that you can, things you can do yourself. I know Will is a good example of that with uh, how you like to play Cafe does, but we'll get into that later. <laughs> Um, yep. we got the right teams. I'll jump over to Guz's side. Do you want us on defense, Guz, for this? Or do you want to be on Uh, team? yeah, it's probably easier, yeah. All right, sick. So we're good? Uh, yeah, yeah, jump in. Let's go. All right. Oof. Yeah, I love Cafe. I personally do love Cafe. I think it's really fun to play on. And even though a lot of the matches we see uh, in Australia still, but I, I guess globally, seems to be a little defender favoured. I just think uh, the map is also really fun to attack on. Even though it's tricky, I just find it really fun to try and attack on this map. I'm just going to go like mute or something so I get a shotty for you. Cool. Um, so we don't have to touch too much on Mumai for now. Uh, we can yep. get into that in more detail later, but I'm guessing you've got a shield. Yeah, nice. So 
Um, I hope so. I should. <laughs> yeah, you bomb. So okay, we're at good. bar here. This is the top floor bomb site. There are four bombs. Oh, I shouldn't say bomb site. Ten, the objective, because there are two, the two bomb sites. Um, ooh, I like your uh, five seconds. Grand larceny. Grand larceny. Alpha Thank there. you. Very nice. Yep. All right. So why don't you Off start by telling us a few callouts for this map and for this bomb site and objective? Uh, sure. I reckon we'll, we'll go over to red and start from there because it's probably the most common uh, point of entry for attack. <laughs> Right, so where we're standing currently, this is known as top red, obviously red carpet for red stairs. Um, the hatch above us, often referred to as red hatch. And the wall here, red wall. And this is a pretty key part of the map. Most attackers will be looking to get control of this pretty quickly as it mounts sort of the rest of the attack later in the round. Nice. So um, why don't you keep going along into uh, this next room from top red? Yep, sweet. So this is Cigar Shop. Again, be a pretty high point of contention for the attackers. Um, over here. Now this this is where things get a little bit complicated. I don't want to make it sound too confusing. Uh -huh. But the most common call out for this in matchmaking is probably going to be new hatch drop, as this hatch was added in the rework. Um, but you will see teams calling it things like Queen, because there's a Queen there that I just shot there down. There was, and now I can't see it. Thanks. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also know teams call it things like heads or tails for this balcony and the opposing one. Other ones, I think uh, Sinister call this balcony like Thanos for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> but I think for our purposes, we'll just call it New Hatch Drop. Because I, 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 I call this drop. New Hatch Balk. But... Yeah, or Balk, yeah, so, either or. Another one that I heard was I was watching Easily from Sonics in North America stream, and they called this section here like Da Vinci, which I thought was also like a really neat little call out because people often don't know what to say here. Yeah. I think it's just because there's like lots of paintings. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. 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 I see that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Very nice. I actually never really looked at these paintings too closely, but they're pretty nice. There's a cat in this one. And some what? pears in a bowl. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's awesome. I'm just going to turn off my screen share on Discord one sec, see if it um, fixes some of this, uh, this low okay. frame rate I'm getting. Um, but it shouldn't affect anything else there. All right, yeah. This guy's painting continue. up here looks like Warden as well. A little bit. Just a little bit. Not fully. The yet. operator or the player? <laughs> operator. Like Harry. Looks like Harry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Actually, that's a good point. It just kind of looks like Harry. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, go back <laughs> through the cigar shop. So this is up to the right of that hatch drop we discussed earlier. And this is Cigar Lounge. Now, this is quite a large room. Again, the attackers will be looking to get pretty good control of this. And we'll probably talk about that a little bit more because my plays a pretty big role in trying to hold this area. Um, this platform up here is often referred to as piano because you guessed it, there's a piano here. Um, yeah, yeah, cool. That, um, and one awesome. of the things I think is tough, like this is a this room here and this room here, a great example of rooms where callouts can get fuzzy because this is cigar yep. shop and this is cigar lounge. Now, when I'm in ranked, most of the time I call this room with the red carpet cigar, but technically both of them are called cigar. <laughs> um, so I feel like, maybe, like Dev. yeah, don't be like Dev. Maybe what's better is to call this one shop, and this one either lounge or people can call it piano because there's the piano in the middle. But then some people might yep. want the piano call out just to be for the the stage area, or you could call that stage instead. Um, so yeah, make sure that whoever you're playing with, you uh, you sync up with them and make sure that you uh, have the right callouts. Indeed. Um, a quick little Easter egg, or maybe. Not really an easter egg, but it's more of a trick. Make sure these speakers here, the one on the right and the one on the left, if you shoot one of them, the sound that's playing through them will stop, which again, you want to try and minimize the amount of sound that is being emitted outside of footsteps, gunshots, etc. So shooting those speakers is always a good idea if you have the time. Nice. Same thing with that grandfather clock. It was just beeping and I That is it. correct. <laughs> Alright, now this area here where this bench is, the little um, suitcase, now this is referred to as a pixel. And the reason it's called pixel is because you can hold a pixel all the way to red wall. Maybe go red wall, Dev, and we can show why it's called pixel here. So if you're playing this position as a defender, you can hold a really tight angle here to where Dev is trying to enter from. And that's why this is called Pixel. And we'll probably come back to this a little bit later because well, my again angle. plays a pivotal role. There's also another angle to well. know about. If you, yeah. no, if you sit in the corner deep and you destroy the bench, you can just smack the bench with a knife. And it'll destroy it. it. You can sit yeah. really tight there. And you can have a pixel angle. If I come out of Cigar even, you can kind of almost see me. So if I even get to here, you can kill me. So nice way to uh, challenge attackers. Indeed it is. 
So exiting Pixel, this is called White Hallway or White Corridor, located by R4. which leads into washrooms, officially called bathroom normally. Toilet, with people. Cool. Or toilet. yeah, either or. <laughs> um, then we head to Top White, so again the stairs are white, so Top White equals Top of White Stairs. This area here I've heard called multiple things in different regions, so I'm not sure what you guys are happy on settling on, but I tend to really just stick to Top White for this area. I'm not sure what do you guys think. I've heard tarps a lot. Yeah, yeah. tarps. Tarps. I've heard, I've heard paint. construction. I've heard all kinds of weird Blue yeah. paint stacks because the stacks are wood. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I think as long as your teammates know what you're talking about, it doesn't really matter. Cool. Now we enter cocktail lounge. So this is one of the areas that was heavily revamped in the rework. Um. And this again, surprisingly, in pro league at least, plays a massive role in how. Um, Every objective almost plays out. In ranked or casual, it may not be the same case, but we can go over that a little bit more because, again, for well, my client important there. Um, now we head to the cocktail balcony, which was added again in the rework. And this is a pretty chill spot. You don't really find too many defenders sitting around here um, because they're exposed to a lot of angles, but it's still an interesting point. There is, in fact, one angle you can do. I don't know, does it still work? I think Coconut bra angle. I think you can get the angle to. Yeah, yeah, that's probably quicker. If you shotgun out where I shot, you should be able to get an angle all the way to the new hatch drop. Yeah, you don't want to open too much of the wall, but yeah, you can kind of see. You can see Da Vinci over there, just chilling out with his hat hey. and the box of pears <laughs> or whatever it was. <laughs> <laughs> and now we re enter bar. So this is this whole room here, basically from this double door all the way back to shop and Da Vinci to the right is bar. all of this area you can plant the bomb. Um, now in terms of distinguishing these little cocktail bars to the others, I know some teams have callouts such as like B1 or B2 um, or variations of that. Again it's just going to depend on who you're playing with. Um, this this bar here is often just called long bar or maybe default because it is tends to be the default plant position. Mm. Um, you've also got this call out here, which is uh, normally called bins or or bags or something to that description. Again, this is often a position where attackers will be looking to try and plant the bomb during the round. Mm -hmm. um, then we enter back store, um, which leads into freezer. Not Lovely. too much, I don't think, to miss yeah. in here. So that's pretty much the um, entire call out to the top. I have, I have a really good extension of uh, the bars call out here that yeah. I've heard a team use. So this one's called Nia. This one's called Far, and then it's where, ever, you, and then the hatches are. Oh my god. You know, like the Titanic song? Near Far, wherever you are. Yeah? Oh my yeah, that's, that's, wow. the, that's where it comes from. <laughs> so, what if oh. someone calls out, he's where, guys, he's where? Oh, where, where is he? That's here. That's here. <laughs> where? Where? You just, you know in context, right, Dev? Come on. Well, like, he's far, bro. He's far, but he's actually, like, really close because he's on far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that rhymes, too. <laughs> oh, all right. Um, so, what, what are the most important things to know? Let's maybe, because we're on defense, like, is there anything specific to know on the defense, like, uh, about where you should play on this objective or where you should hold? Yeah, I mean, well, we covered Pixel earlier, which is to the south, as that sort of helps to cover the push from top red. Um, another pretty big point of contention will, is Cocktail. Because of the fact that there's no windows directly behind you here, you're pretty well covered, um, at least uh, horizontally. And you can, from here, you can get angles all the way into Freezer, all the way into the shop, and you can even deny the plan over towards the new hatch drop. Um, one thing to be mindful of if you are playing this position is the vertical, so gaining shot from below. Um, you will see a lot of teams in competitive, uh, namely teams like Kanga, for example, um, create a lot of verticality below to try and make this position as comfortable, as uncomfortable to sit in as possible because it's so powerful. So maybe you wouldn't be reinforcing, let's say, this wall here so that you can play around cocktail, around where, if you will, and uh, and not be exposed <laughs> to, uh, yeah. to the, the, the cigar shop and, uh, and maybe, you know, try and keep people over from, from here as well. Yeah, you can even try and use the bar stools to get some alternative types of angles to try and throw your enemy off a little bit. I need to reload. Um, it really just depends on how the attackers are trying to approach it. You will often see the bars being used a lot more again if that verticality is coming out from the attackers because it makes it a little bit harder. 
Uh, let's get shot. You're a little less exposed. We got 20 seconds. Anything else uh, last minute tips to know about bar objective? Uh, shotgun out the bar. It makes it easier to deny the plant. That's something that we did miss. Basically just again. removing cover Three from the attackers so that now if I'm all the way at the other end and you try and plant there, I can still see you and go for a shot. Nice. You can do that even with these bars. It takes a bit more ammo, but you can do that. Yep. Lovely. Well, I mean, I feel like we could talk about that objective forever, but maybe we'll go into it more when we go over one my. So do you want to move on to a different objective? Where are you picking second? Uh, so we'll go kitchen second. Uh, often the tertiary side of choice, at least um, in matchmaking. Again, competitive is quite different. Teams will sometimes go second floor, but We'll go kitchen. It's pretty commonly played. Again, it's a part Secure of the map the that Keep the bombs got heavily, heavily changed back in the rework. Um, mm. And it's now quite and a viable site. Um, I guess we'll start over towards Bakery. Maybe. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, sure. A good point Five from seconds. Grim in chat is that um, you can destroy the bar with uh, with the Remar dash from Oryx. I haven't actually bomb tested bomb that, but I have heard people say that before. Awesome. So this is uh, the bakery entrance where the attackers will be entering the front. Um, this van here is often just called van or, or black van. One spicy angle that you can try and use is actually standing up on this car and you can actually shoot a player sitting all the way back oh, wow. at cupcakes. Yeah, and that's a really common place for people to sit. Raven, do you mind not? <laughs> <laughs> hey. Obviously practicing. keep in mind that it isn't the hardest <laughs> angle to shoot back at either, so you are exposed. Um, so this angle we're sitting at currently, which again you can see from on top of that car, this is normally called Cupcakes, um, inside of the bakery. Uh, and then we head over here, this is the small bakery. Nice. Again, there's a window here that exposes you to the outside, so you have to all that. And often attackers will try and get an angle. Oh, I don't know where you are, Raven, I don't know you. <laughs> oh uh, my, I'm stay out of him. <laughs> stay out of him. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you can create a line of sight all the way from this window as an attacker to try and flush out anyone that might be playing cup game, as we mentioned earlier. Nice. Um, do you want to keep going down red, this way, red maybe? Yeah, let's go. Let's yeah. go. Uh, so this is bottom red, so on the last objective we talked about top red. Um, this is bottom red and red corridor, namely a red carpet. Um, that leads into coat check, or coats, if you want to simplify it a little bit further. Which then leads into reception, and this this door here is could refer to as sort of the main door or the front door of the entire map as it basically is. Yeah, um, cool. Reception then leads into bar. So this entire area here from the bottom of brown stairs um, all the way around. So that this is called brown stairs, is it? That, it doesn't yeah. really have a call out on the compass. Uh, not that people can see it because the, uh, yeah. the overlay is blocking it, but... Yeah. The most common call out is brown stairs. Yeah. And it's yeah. only a single floor of stairs, so it's a little bit different to the other staircases on the map. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they, this is bar. Um, occasionally, you'll see attacker, uh, defenders rather, holding behind here and trying to stop a push. And that push could be coming out from the dining room, which is this this room, middle room in here, which again leads out to the front. The dining room connects to VIP. You're seeing, you won't see so much in matchmaking, but you will see in competitive often teams setting up in here as the defenders and trying to stop try. them from getting access to some of the walls around site. Um, and that connects to, of course, VIP corridor. Now this this wall here is a bit of an interesting one. I know you're a big advocate for uh, reinforcing this wall, which is often referred Swapping to as man. the garage wall. And again, that's because it creates a really long line of sight, basically all the way almost to the bottom of the ground stairs. So if you have this control as an attacker, you can prevent a pretty major rotor back towards the yeah, side. Nice. And then this also, this door here leads outside. Um, and then this wall here leads into the uh, the freezer of the kitchen. So that leads pretty close to the bomb site. And this is uh, the bottom of the white stairs. Yes. Nice. So right, we'll go through, yeah, do you yeah. want to go back in the objective? Cool. Sure, yeah. What are the most important things to know about this site? Yep, so Freezer is a part of the map that, again, the attackers will be trying to often get control of. They have this wall to try and get open, which leads into a plant, which often... I don't know if you can see my pings there, but yeah, yeah, often yeah. come out to a plant around here in the B-bomb site, as well as that there's a hatch to be mindful of and will often be reinforced inside of Freezer that the attackers will try and get control of. Now, if you are an attacker, you have two options. You have the vault on the left, or you have the door on the right. 
door on the right leads into the most common, I would say, plant spot on this map, which is where I am crouching currently, as it provides pretty nice protection and the defenders will have to wide swing quite far and in front of many angles to try and deny that. Um, and then if you come back into freezer and jump back through the window, you have a couple of angles you need to be mindful of, you have the double doors and then quite a few inside of the main kitchen. This is kitchen cooking, this is kitchen, kitchen service. Um, so, uh, I personally am... I just have one question. It can be hard to distinguish between the two though. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's mm. actually what I was going to get at. Uh, Digital mentioned that he has the calls Gordon and Ramsey. Uh, do we know where the where Gordon and Ramsey are, right? I think that was I think that was here. He said that was to do with like the cookers, right? Yeah. So I it's think that's Gordon, these maybe, two, and that's Ramsey. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's it. I love it. Um, Good stuff. The best way to remember is like if you look at the stuff that's in serving, it's like actually really like I don't know. Mm. This Plain, is all about like actually the cooking stuff. dishes. Yeah, this yeah. isn't so yeah. much assembly like... or cooking. This is just like washing up over here in the corner, and uh, and this is like serving and making coffee and stuff. Yeah. So this is cooking I mean, yeah. over here, and the, over there is service. Yeah, you could get. I think you could get really complex with the callouts around here because there's so many different like, obj you know, like objects and stuff. But I think for most people's general use, service and cooking are probably what you need. Or even if you can't remember that, even just calling out A-bomb or B-bomb is really simple. And obviously it's always on your map, always on your screen. So yep. Nice. Um, so yeah, what are the important things to know? Um, I know Raven's made a few holes, um, maybe rotations for the defense, or maybe the attackers are trying to open these walls with uh, with thermite charges if the defenders reinforce them. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so well, one... both. <laughs> oh, do you want to go? Oh, I was just going to say, well, both really, but like I was mainly making them as rotates. Okay, cool. Um, so the one I've yeah. pinged here on the uh, bakery wall, this is a really interesting one. So there's really two philosophies you can have as a defender when playing sort of this area. One is to reinforce both sides to protect you from the bakery push. Or alternatively, you can create a rotate here as Raven has, and then you can actually hold this more aggressively as a defender. So often, at least when I'm playing, I might... Um, try and post up around here inside a bakery, maybe with a teammate to assist, and really heavily try and push back this sort of push and restrict them really to that window on the right in small bakery or the double door where Raven's sitting. Because so if again, you want to play really behind hard. cupcakes here, it's probably a priority to reinforce this wall on small That'd bakery. Be great. Yeah, and you can even take that a step further by creating a rotate here on the left because that's not going to expose you behind. Whoa! And then you can even take it another step further by putting a castle provides a bit of extra protection and Door forces secure. the attackers to take out some more utility which would be good for you as a defender. Nice! So what, what else is good to know on this objective? Maybe different ways to attack it or defend it? Sure. Um, let, let's go back to maybe bar for a little bit. Oh actually we'll go VIP. I think that's often pretty understated. Um, I know you're a big fan of reinforcing the garage dev. Mm. Um, so again this is this wall over here. And the reason that you want to reinforce that maybe as a defender is because if you stand outside you can get a really really oh, long yeah. angle and it doesn't have to be big like devs made it, it could even be a single bullet hole and I can see Raven all the way back almost at the bottom of brown there so that's a really big cutoff and if anyone's playing off site for example and then wants to go down those stairs and go back to site you basically get a free kill so that's something to be mindful of. Um, what I find with reinforcing that is you don't actually have to reinforce both panels because this left panel, like that angle doesn't really give you as much as an attacker. Yep. So you, even if you only have one reinforcement spare, chuck it up on here. And yes, the attackers can can enter from, from this soft part and they don't have to go through the doorway. You just give yourself a bit more flexibility. You don't have to worry as much about that wall there unless they thermite it or Hibana it or ace it or Maverick it open. Cool, so jumping into VIP now, though, this is an area of the map that I know some teams, namely, that come to mind are like Sinister, for example, Fisher Guy often plays inside of here. And what this does is makes it harder for the attackers to open this freezer wall. If you're posted up in here, you'll be able to shoot off any exothermic charges from Thermite or any Havana pallets or any or a Maverick trying to torch it, for example. Mm. And again, it's pretty difficult unless the attackers put a lot of utility in to try and clear it, it's actually a pretty strong point. The only weakness really is again that if you try and rotate back out, if they've opened that garage, you're basically dead. So you have to be really careful of that um, and mindful that you might have to post up here, waste a lot of time and you, and you may die in the end anyway. You might have to worry about this window here on dining as well and potentially yep. uh, brown stairs and also uh, reception as well. 
So it, yeah, there are a lot of ways you can you be vulnerable in that spot, area. but I find what's important is just having information on where those attackers are coming from, so you know, okay, if there's no one pushing that window, I can I can move here and that's fine, I won't be exposed. You're also exposed to a small bakery. If they if the attackers have control of that, they might have their ACOGs watching all the way down along the way. Um, you can even do things like put a castle barricade around here, and that'll protect you from, from small bakery. If you still want that rotate hole, you can just make it here so you can get back to site from bar pretty safely anyway. Exactly. Reloading! Wow, that is one tough wall right here. This wall really <laughs> does not like getting blown up. Alright, so, I mean, is there anything else that you want to touch on maybe as an attacker? Raven, I know you're playing the box, so you can do a lot of self-destruction if you want to. Where on earth are you? Um, actually, yeah, that... I'm in, uh, right. I'm in VIP. <laughs> um, if you can rip off that castle of Red Hallway, uh, really got 20 seconds. I was just gonna show, like, a really, a nice way to hold the Red Hallway, because most people just, like, hang out in the dining. Yeah. But if you don't make a big hole in this wall in VIP, you can just, like, hold it through a hit hole. And uh, from all the way down Red Hallway, it's actually really hard to see. Even bullet holes are pretty popular for that. Yeah. As long as you just kind you of can sit actually see. hard right and lean to the right, you can see all the way down. Yes, and you're protected from the window, you're protected from brown stairs. Uh, so it's like a pretty like comfortable place to sit. Um, and you can pretty much see, as soon as they jump in from like, the bus stop window there into Small Bakery, you can see them almost straight away. So yeah, it's a nice tight angle to hold. Yeah, nice. Um, so onto reading and fireplace next up. Um, I know that a lot of teams in, in Pro League do, or in Six Masters, pick this pretty early on, but it doesn't seem to be bomb. getting a lot of attention in ranked. Um, I, I personally love this yeah, bomb site though, if you have people who are familiar with how to attack it. And I think a lot of that comes down to just Five understanding how to how to deny plant in these bomb sites, but first why don't we just go over some Increase call outs on um, and then we'll uh, move on to the, the strategy of the bomb site. Alright, awesome. So firstly the A bomb site is known as fireplace hall officially, but most teams will call it dining because there is a dining table. Um, do you want to go through train yet? Or yeah, yeah, let's, do, let's just do the right, whole cool. thing. So that leads into the train museum, which hasn't really changed a whole lot in the last five years. A mm. um, bit of a classic. Not too much to be said about here. I mean, you can try and distinguish it between the green one and the red one if you want to be a bit more specific. Mm. Um, that leads into mining, which, fun fact, creates a really nice angle in towards that default plane kitchen that we mentioned earlier. So that's something to keep in mind. And as we would know, or at least Dev would know, that uh, 1v5 clutch happened yeah. a while ago. That was pretty crazy. Um, cool. So then uh, that leads back into the red hallway. Um, over here, which is sort of the main corridor officially for this objective. Following this corridor leads us to 90, so this is often referred to as 90 or even red 90. It's going to be a bit more specific because it has, again, red carpet. Uh, found yep. a bomb. You must defend so it. then across from dining, you will find the second bomb site, which is a reading room. Now, this is a pretty large bomb site, obviously, a bit, a bit of an L bend shape. A lot of the bookshelves and stuff in here are destructible. Something to keep in mind. I haven't actually Do seen it. many people in the room uh, that will play destroy this bookshelf. It seems back. strange to me because that's like one of the most common plant spots. Yeah. I yeah. think time is starting too slowly. I don't yeah. know. If you destroy it, you don't have to wide swing so much. You just kind of shoot through this. You can shoot through that <laughs> sofa, right? I, mean, I was like, I think it's wall bangable anyway. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is. Awesome. Um, so then leading out of reading is pillars. Now, this is a Bit of a strange part of the map because it is quite open and quite large and can make it a little bit tricky to sort of be specific with your call out. So I'm sure teams probably have different names for these different pillars, um, but for your general matchmaking needs, pillars will normally um, suffice. Yep. And that's basically yep. the whole map, other than this uh, balcony out here, which I area. guess it's called Terrace or East by Balcony or what have Yep, pretty common run out if you're a defender to try and deny any repel. Raven, what are you doing? <laughs> and here's the top Just of that brown stairs that we saw earlier from the bottom. Um, and then, you know, the new hatch balcony is up there. 
and there's a bit of a red hallway here as well. So um, I feel like this is one of those tougher objectives to defend. So why don't we talk about some of the philosophy, yeah. at least on the on the bomb sites itself? Because that's the most terrifying thing at defending a new bomb site. You know, what if they just go in and plan or take the the bomb site away from us? So um, what's the what's yeah. the mentality here? What's the philosophy? Yeah, so as you can sort of see already, um, Raven has done a beautiful job at remodeling the site <laughs> a little bit for us. Um, so often in, com in high level competitive play, you'll see the, um, both of these bomb sites exactly where the holes are placed currently um, at that foot level, which will try and deny the attackers from getting in and getting that plant down because they are um, so exposed. Um, can you just pretend plant for me there, Raven? Or like somewhere... Where? Anywhere? Yeah, yeah, just don't stick it. So even if they were four, yeah, even if the footholds were just lower, I could still see his feet and shoot him through the wall there. So yeah, these, these holes are probably double in size to what you'd normally expect. But yeah. You know, yeah, these are, these are huge. These are seriously um, huge. <laughs> another rotate that's really important when defending this site is inside a laundry room, which is placed on the right hand side here, often with a reinforcement in the middle again to provide some extra protection for that defender. And nice. that is a really nice line of sight to the default plant spot, which often is this box that we uh, punched out earlier. Attackers will try and get in and plant there. Um, I think one of the most important things we need to do on this site is go above, because that is where the magic happens when you can defend this site. Wow. We'll head Thanks, above Raven. to uh, Cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> Alright, so I this is where the magic, magic happens. <laughs> Pro teams will often invest a lot of utility into this site, and it's something that in matchmaking teams often don't do, which makes it incredibly hard to defend. Um, you'll often see teams set up this part of the site similarly to how they would if they were actually defending the third floor bomb site itself. So things such as shields, um, reinforcements again on these sort of common walls to again slow down the attackers who are likely going to be pushing from the west side of the map over towards red. Um, so to it's sort kind of hold that defense. Correct, yeah. Yeah, there's this choke point through bar, so you, as like you were saying, if you have shields, you can put them next to here, make reinforcements to really protect yourselves. Um, and then the other choke point is through white hallway, and again, you can kind of just hold that, and you're pretty advantaged in that gunfight. And uh, then if you reinforce these walls here, put some mutes or bandit batteries or electric claws or something on, then it's going to be really difficult for them to, to get through there. Yeah, and depending on how confident and proficient your team is in defending this spot, you can even um, create some vertical angles down below so you can watch the entrance in towards the default plant. Uh, but keep in mind, of course, holes go both ways, and if the attackers end up getting control of this part of the map, you need to be mindful that they are for sure going to use those against you later. That's part of the reason why we hold up here, because we don't want the attackers to get control and then they can open above. When Raven's doing it, Buck is a great example of an operator that's good for this. You can open everywhere above the objective. You know, these holes look down into the B bomb site, which is breeding. Um, you can't look above the A bomb site, however. You can look above the hallway to the A bomb site and potentially even deny plant if they're still kind of in the corners um, around there. You might be able to see them once you look through the wall. So, if you're defending this, um, can, give me some examples of maybe some setups you would use on the top floor. You know, you're talking about having five players up here on the top floor, two players. Um, you know, where, how, how would you usually see uh, if you're trying to communicate with your teammates? Maybe your maybe your solo queue and your teams pick this bomb site. What are you going to be doing? Yeah, so I think the most important thing is to have at least one person above someone at least trying to waste some time. That could even be something like a vigil if you're trying to waste time with them trying to find you or someone maybe a bit more like smoke who can area deny um at very minimum you want at least one person in cocktail which is the room that we're in currently now if you've got a team that's being cooperative and one that wants to coordinate then you can try and expand this a little bit so you might have a player for example playing top white even with a shield on ping and that can hold the pixel or if you want to be a bit more aggressive you can even hold it like a more traditional pixel over towards ping here um and then, if you're playing that position, for example, you can then, if it's, you're being overwhelmed by the attackers, you can fall back. There's no point in you dying there. You can come back and then help your teammate who's still holding cocktail, because as we mentioned, we would have reinforced this wall here, so the attackers aren't going to be able to get us. We can come back, chill with our friend here, try and waste some more time. Um, I, I'd say you probably wouldn't want any more than three people above. I don't think we often see teams running more than three, at least in my memory, because mm. um, it can get a little bit too crowded. Um, 
something to keep in mind when you are holding this position is that you are going to have to invest in uh, utility. So that would be maybe some Goyo shields or some regular deployable shields, for example, that the attackers will need to waste time with to delay their push. And that'll be aided by, for example, my gadgets or uh, Jaeger mm. ADS devices. And Again, we're just reinforcements as well, really important yeah, to reinforce these so you're protected. Um, I just destroyed some of this balcony um, railing and uh, that does expose something that is, uh, I guess, a bit of a uh, double-edged sword for this cocktail hold is attackers, if they get managed to get here, they don't have to go through this doorway. They can actually sprint across and even though there's a, there's a gap there, you can actually very easily just sprint across and, uh, and yep. peek anyone playing in that position as well. You've also got these windows to the east, one here on the balcony and uh, and one further here deep in the cocktail, and the attackers can pressure that as well. Um, so, so a few things to be aware of defending in this spot. Yeah, it's definitely, I wouldn't say, a complete beginner sort of tactic. You, you'll have to be relatively experienced and have the game sense to understand when is the best time to rotate back or when is the best time to try and force the attackers back themselves. Um, but it's definitely a fun strategy if you can pull it off. Um, There's no better it'd feeling. definitely be frustrating for the attackers for sure. There is no better feeling than doing some sweaty strat and it working. Trust. <laughs> um, Alright, well anything else to know about this bomb site? Um, maybe we haven't talked much about the A bomb site in mining, so um, how are you defending yeah. sorry in um, fireplace, how are you defending this one? Um, maybe it's good to just be aware as well of these angles you can get from the white stairs. Yeah. If you open up above, you kind of see all the way into the fireplace itself. Likewise, yeah, so a, a is a little bit of a weird objective. It's gone through a couple of iterations, at least in competitive in terms of setup. Often teams in the past would reinforce one side or the other. I think now they're tending to keep it completely soft with holes like you can see now. Um, and then you'll often have a defender. So if you have, let's say we have three upstairs, you have one, uh, you have two left, which means one's probably going to be tasked with trying to hold white stairs. And Sometimes you'll have one playing yeah, more aggressively seconds. above here, or even more aggressively below. And what you're trying to do here is prevent anyone coming through train, force an attacker to try and push you from below, which, again, wastes more time. Why is quite a powerful position for that box up. Oh, we're eliminated. NS, bro, NS, GN. Hit him with the GN in chat, bro. Hit him with the GN. I'm just going to do a full GN. GN. There we go. Hit him with the double GN. They like that. Good stuff, guys. Well played. Well played. Good round. Well, there you go. It is possible. That is proof right there that it is possible to win a reading and fireplace defense because me and Guz just did it. How do you feel about that, Raven? <laughs> Look, I think you're just lucky that the uh, the health modifier I have on this custom game is 200 HP. <laughs> <laughs> Headshots for days. Why am I echo, honestly? Um, oh, because I didn't pick an operator. Nice one, Dev. Secure the bombs. <laughs> I do have shotgun though. I do have shotgun for some reason. Oh, nice. So hey, the supernova is yeah, awesome. Yeah. All, All right. right. Last now, bomb this site. Is, uh, yeah, mining and dining. Point. This is the one that rhymes, but also is probably the most difficult to defend. To um, again, it's one that requires a large amount of coordination and one that you really only see played um, in competitive. Because obviously, if you're playing ranked, for example, you only need to worry about three sites at most. Really, you can often get away with that um, but of course this one will be the fourth um, let's start off with uh, mining so this is an objective that it's pretty much impossible to just sit in it's quite exposed you have the window outside a lot of exposure there you can also be exposed from this red hallway um, well, both red hallways the red stairs and the, the main red hall so B bomb site is pretty much off limits no one's really going to be sitting in here um, unless they're doing something absolutely crazy. So I guess that then raises the question, how do you hold the bomb site? Um, this one is pretty experimental at the moment. Um, things you can try is um, maybe reinforcing this wall here, blowing it to the left, and that sort of denies the jump in. If you want to be even more aggressive, you can sort of uh, adopt that philosophy on the previous objective and create footholds over here, to try and prevent the attackers from gaining ground that way. But everything has to be done sort of in balance. Otherwise, this this site here can be pretty easy to lose control of, at least um, horizontally. That is. And here's something that changed with the uh, the rework of this map. This floor in mining that in the old cafe was completely indestructible. You can now actually destroy it, 
Um, and then uh, if you have someone playing below, maybe a pulse, you can use a C4 to, to um, kill them through the floor, or you can just shoot them if you've pre-opened the holes as well. Um, but you have to just be aware that there is a, a bit of marble floor around the edges that they can plant in. And if you're an attacker, maybe ideally you want to be planting on the marble floor for that reason. On top of that, um, the fattest part of marble is over here, so a lot of people try to plant this corner. Um, but what I was just demonstrating is that you can open the hallway and you can just lob a C4 up because the uh, way the rafters go mean you can really easily just get a C through C4 through there straight into this spot. Nice, it's actually, nice. yeah, it's that's really hard to play. That's coping up bra level. <laughs> yeah. And all yeah, that's the thing. That, that's what I was going to mention. Mining is, it's difficult to hold as a defender, but it's also equally difficult to sort of attack because it's so exposed, mm. which makes it a pretty interesting dynamic. All right, let's move on though. Um, so train is the, so this is the room that is connecting both of the bomb sites and one that you want to have pretty good access to because if you're trying to maybe go from one to the other, you don't want you don't want to be interrupted halfway through dying. Uh, so what can aid in that is maybe teams will create a rotate, for example, um, or even reinforce this one because it has a line of sight all the way to that B window. So it really depends on the team's preference. Um, then we head back into dining or fireplace hall. And again, you will find teams will often do the same sort of philosophy, creating footholes to try and uh, deny the attackers from getting close. Um, and I'm sure that's probably raising the question, well, if we're making all these holes, where do the defenders sit? Which basically leads us to having to hold above again. So as we did in the previous objective, when it was dining and reading, Changing us back. as the defenders will often send a couple of people above so that we can hold some angles and try to delay the attackers from getting that map control. Yeah, um, this is also something brought up in chat and I was going to mention earlier. If Mira hasn't been banned, she's really good on this bomb site. If you put one yep. on this wall just here, you can see the entirety of mining and even potentially peak people who are on the window um, and pushing off from other angles. So a really powerful way. And uh, I think that kind of emphasizes for me what's super important about this bomb site, which is information gathering. Um, if you've got information on where they're planting, you can probably find a way to deny it. And uh, it doesn't so much matter where you play, in general, it's just about having the information so you can prevent the attackers from planting. Yep. You want to go upstairs and show us some of those angles? Because it, it's very influential, not just for um, yep. for the, uh, the def defense, but also for the attack, because you can basically nullify all the positions we've talked about uh, if you're an attacking team by sh opening the floor. Yeah, cool. So as a defender, you're probably going to be holding it a little bit differently to how you would, again, that previous uh, reading objective, because it's more so on this western side, here under the piano. Um, so you might see teams holding the pixel angle over here, once again, to try and deny that control, because holding this angle, you can basically deny them from getting anywhere near the objective above, or bar maybe a small angle over towards the red wall, but that isn't going to really do them much. Um, on the topic of red wall over here, teams will often reinforce it because again that will take them time and take them some utility if they want to try and get above control. Um, yeah, I can't say, to be honest, I can't say I'm the most knowledgeable on this objective because it's game time is quite small in comparison. But I think if you adopt the philosophy of, again, one, information gathering and two, prepping the site adequately, the rest should hopefully fall in place. I'm, if you, I'm tipping if you're going to this objective in matchmaking, you're having a pretty good game anyway. Yeah, if you're going to this um, objective, you're probably going to do one, two rounds, and the fact that you're here is going to throw them off. Yeah. On top of that too, I mean, like, this is the site that was probably the most unchanged coming through the rework. Like, the bomb sites where they actually are situated are exactly the same. The only difference, I believe, with them directly is, like you said, that mining floor is now completely, like, shoot up And ball. train floor as well didn't used to be soft, so that's soft as well now. Yeah. So it's mainly just that. Other than that, though, like, not a whole lot changed this site, so that meant that, like, a lot of it's tried and tested, and it's pretty sketch in a lot of areas because of that vertical control. So, like, <clears throat> even if you just deny your opponent's taking above, they could still flush you out from below. So I think a, a, actually a roam underneath the bomb site on this map is really, really good um, because it doesn't matter which bomb site they plant in, you can kill them from below with a C4 um, or just shooting them. There, are, unless if they do something like plant on top of the table and you're, you're not able to get a C4 onto them, 
or, or in that marble corner like you mentioned earlier. So I think roaming is really essential to this bomb site. Mm. Um, and also something that was mentioned in chat to do with Mira, if she is left unbanned in your ranked games, or even if you're just playing some casual, maybe you get this bomb site randomly. Um, you can also use your second mirror window upstairs. Um, just try and be careful you're not exposed to that window, but if you chuck the mirror window right here, um, you can look into piano and even contest people on the windows and if they try and enter from cigar and, and deny all that vertical play as well. Right on. Any, any, yeah. any other little tips on this bomb site or any other bomb site on cafe? We have a spare three minutes. Um, actually, one thing that I did think about right when we finished kitchen and we're in the perfect spot to talk about it now is actually this angle here on ping. So what this is watching is the prep room inside of kitchen, um, which connects to bakery. I don't know if, if someone wants to go below, maybe it would be the best. Oh, way I done. Yeah, you do it. Yeah. I'm so this, on so this entry point for the attackers is um, often critical if they're pushing from that bakery side. They're filtered through a door right into my line of sight, or you can hold that angle because you're streaming the POV. And it's pretty hard to contest. If you're an attacker going in and you're not aware, you'll be taken out. And keep mm. in mind, the attackers, when pushing through there, have another door and another Reloading. window that they need to worry about. That's three angles that they need to potentially be watching. So holding this vertically can often uh, get you a couple of picks. Yeah, um, and likewise, from an attacking perspective as well, if there are defenders playing aggressively inside of, of, uh, of prep, you can also open this and open a lot of other locations. You mentioned there was a hole over here. They can uh, look into a pretty good spot in deep in, uh, in service. We got some requests for castle strats uh, <laughs> for cafe. Uh, I, I mean, I'm willing to indulge if you guys are. I mean, if we're going to do my, well, my stuff, the castle falls in with a couple of them, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. All right. Um, I'll just, when we eventually go and switch there, I'll, uh, I'll pick the castle. Uh, are we going to do uh, free-for-all then? In a minute? <laughs> wow! Thanks for giving me time to go and... Uh... Oh! Wow. What? Cayman, Cayman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Che cheers. Shoot a man the in the back. <laughs> Shoot a man in the back. <laughs> Wow. Jeez. <laughs> I take back everything I said. <laughs> All right, why don't we go yeah. back out and go over the one my loadouts then? Yeah, sounds cool. We'll do that first. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, the dog is on the move. What are you doing, Beard? What are you doing? I'm going back to face cams for a second. Just need to suss out what Beard's doing, if that's all right. <laughs> sure. Beard, what are you doing, mate? What is, what is that meant to mean? Someone please explain to me what this dog wants. Bed. <laughs> do you want to sit on the bed or you want to, you want to leave? He's just standing there staring at me incredibly indecisively. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to... Never mind. Let's just let's talk about Wamai. All right, cool. So Wamai, um, of course, was introduced in Shifting Tides and him alongside Carly, uh, the two most recent operators introduced into the competitive pool. Um, but of course, they've been in ranked now for quite some time. Um, heading into his loadout. Now, this is, for me, really interesting because you have the org and you have the MP5K to pick from. Um, we'll go over the org first, um, which was the gun that I originally was using primarily, um, but have recently switched. Um, that said, though, for my loadout on the org, I am running the hollow um, with the flash hider and, of course, no laser. Now this gun, it's interesting. Um, some of the cons of the AUG, um, one, it's quite large, so your peripheral vision, particularly to the right, will be impacted because the gun takes up a significant portion of the screen. Um, secondly, the uh, the fire rate is a little bit slower than its uh, counterpart in the MP5K. And of course, higher fire rate gives you more opportunities to be hitting, uh, hitting headshots. And on top of that, I don't, know if it's just feel or if it's actually numbers but the org ads time feels quite slow i think um, in theory it would be slower it, because the so. assault rifles have a slower ads time than yeah. The smgs yeah so again that's something if you're not holding angles if you want to play more aggressively ads time the lower the better and the org of course as you mentioned being an ar it's a little bit slower so it's not what you want nice so um 
the thing to note really is just that Yorg hits a bit harder, 42 damage instead of 30. And that is yep. really one extra bullet to the chest. So yep. 42 damage means that you're, you're copping above 100 damage to three armor, uh, to, uh, sorry, three speeds, one armors, and even uh, two armors, potentially even three armors. I'm not sure about the maths on that. And then the MP5K on uh, is 30. So you're only going to do 90 damage if you hit three shots to the chest against an Ash or, or whoever it is uh, as a one armor. Uh, what would you run on the MP5K? Do you actually run the MP5K? Yeah, so I think maybe for the last week or two, I tried to experiment with the MP5K because I felt like the org mobility, not actually the stat, but in terms of the ADS time and um, its size was maybe being a little bit limiting. So I was like, hey, I'll give the MP5K a shot, which in its own right um, is really strong. Um, so on the MP5K, I'm running Hollow and Compensator. Um, I could probably switch that between flash i'm not too sure i haven't quite decided about what i prefer um, and then again no laser and the benefits of the mp5k again faster ads time compared to the org slightly faster fire rate but again you take a slight damage hit i think the most important thing to worry about there is if you're playing on pc where you should have more accurate aim you should be trying to go for headshots in most cases and if you're a decent player you'll have a headshot ratio of like i don't know 30 percent plus potentially so damage may not always be a key factor in how you are getting kills. So you shouldn't always be picking a gun on its damage stat, at least in my opinion. And that's why I sort of transitioned to the MP5K. Let's me play a little bit more aggressively than the org would otherwise. Nice. And remember that the MP5K do, still does shred enemies if you are yeah. if you do body shots. It's just going to take four hits um, or more and at 800 RPM that's still pretty fast. What about for secondary options? You've got the Keratos which is a revolver or the P12. Yeah so I've always just run the Keratos. I mean you can get away with either. The main differences are the fact that the P12 has a higher capacity. Um, I mean myself personally I don't really find myself using secondary weapons um, basically at all so it's not really a massive game changer. The Keratos is just a fun gun to use. Um, I, I, I don't know. The P12 potentially is a bit better overall, but I, I don't know. Yeah, Tapping I'm... kids with the Keratos is a bit more fun. <laughs> I'd be a pretty big advocate for the Keratos because you've got 78 damage, so significantly above the 44. Um, you're basically shooting two, two bullets that you would with the P12 for every one bullet with the Keratos, um, and it means it is two-hit kill against any enemy um or one hit kill if you if you hear someone say oh they're lit they're lit then maybe go in with the keratos um and all you need to do is just land one bullet to the chest don't even aim for the head um just go for those chest shots um plus with the keratos um these revolvers have uh, much higher destruction capabilities and uh just a couple of hits with a revolver into a soft wall and, and you'll be able to make a decent hole so that's also another good option if that's what you're going for. Main withdrawal is uh, the Keratos is a much lower mag size, six versus uh, the 15. So you're not really going to be able to fight multiple people. And also the reload time is pretty shocking as well on the Keratos. Yeah. That just means you can't spam shoot. That's basically it. Like if you place your shots, uh, I think the Keratos is definitely the, the hands down better option because of that damage. Yeah. Lovely. And uh, deployable shield and barbed wire as two options. Um, is this a, like an always go with one or is this situational? Um, how do you feel? Um, so personally, when I'm picking one my, I often have um, the deployable shield in mind um, because that is often quite critical in how I want to set up a site and how I want to play um, that particular round. Again, it is pretty subjective and pretty um, objective based which one you do want to run. But personally, in most cases, for me at least, you want to be running the shield because one, it forces the attackers to try and clear that with some sort of utility that they'd otherwise use elsewhere. Um, and obviously it's in its name, it provides cover, um, which is pretty critical if you're holding some of the angles, which we'll go over later on cafe. Um, they're quite useful for choke points, etc. which as a defender, you want to be trying to hold. So the good thing about deployable shield on Wamai is that it synergizes with his primary gadget really well because his magnets um, are good for catching projectiles, which you can use their function to protect your shields um, and then create power positions out of that, which, like you said, we'll go over in a minute. But at the same time, if you're a player who's maybe not really sure where to put the shields and no one in your team wants one, just go with the barbed wire, put it in a doorway somewhere, put it in a hallway, and, uh, and that'll just passively help the team. 
Uh, yeah, the barbed wire is definitely the safer option, but shield is probably the favoured option. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> um, and other info we didn't go over earlier, he's uh, two speed and two armor, so he can roam, he can anchor, um, he takes a little bit more damage than your... Uh... I was going to say Jaeger, but Jaeger's now a two speed, Lovely. actually. Yeah. Um, and then your, you know, your, your Bandit, your Caviera, your Alibi, these, uh, these three speed operators. Takes a bit more damage. Um, yeah. Um, and lastly, I just want to flex that I have the uh, my favorite, one of my favorite of the headgears from Grand Larceny, which is Newsboy for Wumai. It's He's just got this beautiful little, it's not a deer hunter, is it? Or maybe it is. It's, uh, you know, like kind of like the Sherlock Holmes hat. I love it. It's so good. I didn't get the outfit though, unfortunately. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> yeah, right. So you guys cool to jump back in? Yep. Sure. Awesome. Um, I'll just set the lobby and I'll invite you. Yeah, nice. I'm just going to keep going over my skins. Uh, <laughs> Bit of a skin know, what, what is the best skin on the uh, the org? I'm not sure. I... I... Oh, oh no, there are some cool ones, man. I think yeah? there's one called like Astral that I used to really like. Astral, hey, like an actual skin specifically for that gun. Let's have a look. Yeah, Astral. like one of like the OG ones. I got the I got the Grand Larceny one in a pack, so I'm not complaining. Oh, it's nice. Cool. It's like the one with wood on it. It's pretty cool. That's cool. Uh, I'll need guys to invite you again, Dev, because it's right. uh, yeah. doing that thing. You can get the Bartlett University skin, uh, this one right here. You can get that by completing the um, situation level, uh, the Article 5 level, which... Uh, yeah, if you haven't done that... It's a name I haven't heard in a long time. <laughs> you get to play Bartlett University, and yeah, if you haven't done that, then go for it, because you get um, a free skin and free renown, and it's fun. The uh, the skin I was thinking of was called Orion. I just had a look. Orion. Oh, yes, that is a pretty cool one. I like that. Yeah, I like that. It's kind of like Stella. Yeah, got moons and stuff on it. It's like a, a stag or something. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's like a geometric stag or something. Yeah. It's cool. That's cool. Especially for you Harry Potter fans out there. Looks a bit <laughs> like a uh, Patronus. I'm totally not a lad. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's jump in. Wait, I'm going to be on the other team. Alright, let's jump in. I'm so... I know, yeah. Raven. It's, it's got to be Team Dev versus Team Raven. Yeah, has to be. Right on. Where do you want to take us to first, guys? Uh, we will go top floor because it'll likely be the primary objective choice in matchmaking, even in comp. So we'll head there first. Um, jump on castle if you want. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no one plays Article 5 so you can't find teammates. Then recruit some teammates. Say, guys, who wants to jam some Article 5? Five, five, five people all queue at the same time and then play it. That's how I did it. And I would recommend it. It's a lot of fun. I still haven't played it on PC. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. You won't have the skin then. What are you doing? Hello. All right. All right, cool. So, the main thing to worry about when defending top floor as a Wamai is actually not the objective. So, <laughs> it's a little bit of a paradox, but the main point of contention when playing a Wamai is this angle called Pixel. Swapping mags! Um, so as I mentioned earlier, the attackers more often than not will be pushing into this cigar lounge room, often from the top of the red stairs. And as they try and filter through, they're going to be trying to take down this pixel angle before they try and get anything done on the actual side walls themselves. So as your job here as a WMI is to try and slow that down or completely deny it. Um, so the first thing you want to do when you're setting up this sort of position, if you want to play it as WMI, is actually destroy the bench. And what that will do is allow you to have a tighter angle there in towards the shop. Second thing you want to do is place down your shield. Now there's a couple of different philosophies behind this. Some hey guys, do you Sorry. want to shoot me in the head and then you spectate? I'll spectate you. One friendly operator okay. remains. Don't have to tell you the man have, twice. You don't have to tell me that twice. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I love you already. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm watching. Okay, cool. Um, so there's a couple of different philosophies you can approach when. Uh, take when you're approaching this shield placement. So some like to place it a little bit closer to the door and that'll better protect you when you try and rotate out later if you want to leg it. Um, others will place it quite aggressively forward so you can play deeper in towards bench, um, better protected. Me personally, I sort of find a balance between the two and I'll often place it somewhere around about here. 
which offers pretty good protection if you're trying to rotate back out um, late round. You can also get a little bit cheeky and create some nice little angles when they're trying to push top red and in general it just offers pretty nice protection. Of course the closer you sit towards it, the more protected you'll be from the shop doors from that window where Raven is. I don't want to accidentally shoot him um, and that red wall entry. Um, the third thing to consider, so once you've broken the bench, put the shield down, is of course the magnets. Now, I like to try and get pretty creative in how I place these. Um, I've seen in comp some players will just chuck them behind the couch here, nice and simple. Um, me, I try and often get a little bit more aggressive with them, so I'll place them in positions such as on this couch here. Again, you can't get shot from anywhere unless, I don't know if it can get wall bang. Probably can. I'm not too sure. Yes. Either way, either way, unless they drone that, they're not going to know it's there. Um, on the couches like here, for example, and even here. And basically what this is doing is making it really difficult for the attackers to try and clear this shield, which is providing so much coverage. Um, the, again, the biggest consideration when playing a my anywhere, doesn't matter where, is that you stay alive. Because his gadget regenerates over time, it's a little bit like Legion, for example. The longer you stay alive, the more discs or more magnets you will get over the course of the round, and the better you'll be able to protect yourself and your team. So. You probably have time to place maybe one or two when the round starts and then the longer it goes on, the better you'll be able to fortify this position until maybe you're too overwhelmed. Which in that case, if for example the attackers are getting really aggressive on you and you can't shut them down or your shield gets taken out, you can just run straight over here. Often these two walls here will be reinforced and sometimes you can do a bit of a final stand sort of thing, even if they get control of pixel. Um, not all hope is lost for you in the round your team in the round. So your yeah, main so purpose playing this possession is to hold the defenders and delay time and if they yeah. if you think they're gonna kill you then you will run away is that what you're saying? Yeah exactly because if you manage to get away you might get one or two more magnets for the remainder of the round and then you can use those elsewhere. But yeah your main objective is to try and waste time and again like I mentioned earlier you're trying to deny the attackers. I'm getting this main wall here um, of course, if you're sitting here, they can't have someone on the windows on um, Habana. Otherwise, you can just shoot them off. They can't have a thermite walk up to the wall because you can just shoot them right in the face. <laughs> so it's, it's in the attacker's best interest to clear you out. Um, and it's in your best interest as a defender to really waste time. Because even if you get away, they might only have, let's say, a minute left on the board. And then that starts to put the pressure back on them. Yeah. Cool, so um, do you want to talk about maybe some of the counters to it on how you can interact or like w what happens if they peek from this spot or are there any other tips for this position with playing well mine? Yeah, sure. So um, one, well, we'll go through all the angles, but the first one you want to be really mindful of on this angle is actually white. So the attackers can actually get outside here onto this AC vent sort of thing or even on the rappel. And they'll have a really nice long angle in towards where you're trying to play and you can easily get shot in the back of the head. Um, the best way to counter that normally is to have a player posted up on the white stairs to try and um, force them off or to kill them. And then you'll be protected. So again, that's something to be careful of. You can also even double tap this sort of luggage box and you're pretty well protected from that wide angle. Um, your foot might be just showing, I'm not too sure. A bomb. It's a bit, bit better shielded. Um, the more common angles to be mindful of um, are the windows, so you've got one here on the left, which unless you're wide peeking you don't have to worry about too much. You have the main window over here that Raven was repelling on earlier, um, that gives a really nice long line of sight. And then of course you have the double shop door here, and you also have around this wall which the attackers will gain control of once the red wall is opened. Often red wall will be opened pretty quickly into a round, um, and it's important to not freak out and go, oh they have control, let's get out of here you're trying to stop them from taking that next sort of step here in towards the couch area. Um, outside of angles, of course, you need to be mindful of projectiles. Your main job as Wamai is to try and deny those projectiles. So if you're seeing grenades fly out or flashbangs, don't freak out too much. Your magnets, if you place them correctly, should catch them. Um, and then if and when they um, do run out, again, you can just leg it around here and you should be pretty safe. Something I saw in chat was someone recommending that it's important not to put your well, my magnets too close to each other because if yeah. someone uses a grenade or some kind of explosive that gets caught by the magnet, um, it will destroy any other magnets that are within that explosive range because the explosion will still detonate even after it's caught. 
Yeah, that's exactly right. You don't want to be... Yeah, put it pretty well. If you put them too close together, it's a pretty inefficient use. They have a pretty wide range. I mean, you can see the range when you place it down. I don't know if you can see because you're spectating yep, me. Yeah, I can. It's quite a large range. So you can place them pretty far apart and quite a fair way away from the shield um, and still cover it. Again, you're trying to cover those main angles where they're going to be coming from. So have that in the back of your mind. You're not going to put a magnet like all the way over there, for example, because it's unlikely they'll be throwing projectiles from there. They're more so going to come from that side um, of the objective. And then, I mean, with that said, you don't want the magnets being super close to the shield either, because if you place it here, for example, yes, it will get caught. But if that's a grenade, then your shield's gone and you can't hold this position anymore. So talking about counters to a my you know, someone could come through with an IQ and spot them all out, someone could come through with a Thatcher and, and try and disable a few of them or, or use flashbangs. What are you going to try and do in that, that situation? What are the tricks that you can do to, to, I guess, counter the counters? Yeah, so I mean, one thing you can try and do is actually stacking the magnets up a little bit more. So you may want to hold on to them for longer um, and not use them all earlier in the round, um, particularly um, as you mentioned, flashbangs are an efficient way of clearing those magnets. Each operator can bring three on the attack if they're playing the correct operator. So maybe it can be wise to wait for those flashbangs to come out and then place the magnets. I guess the risk with that is if there's a grenade toss in there as well, then that could be the end of you and or your shield. So it's really a balancing act. I personally just sort of place them and forget in most cases. But if they are heavily, heavily countering them, then you may want to play um, a bit more passively um, if they're playing an IQ as you mentioned so not denying it by projectiles but by shooting it then of course you have a lot of marble flooring here which you can place it just on the floor um, and again that's what some of the competitive players will do because typically they'll be bringing an IQ on the attack on this map and this is a great way to deny it they literally just cannot shoot them nice is that does that pretty much sum up what you wanted to talk about on this specific position here yeah, I think yeah. If you're playing with my, this is your this is your haven. This will be your home. <laughs> this is my home. Every time I play with my, I'm just chilling on Pixel. Nice. Are there any other spots you would consider playing with my on this map or this bomb site? Um, uh, we'll talk about this position over or this position here rather a little bit later because that'll play you more so useful when we're defending below. But that'll be a tease for when we head down there. All right. Well, if you're done, then uh, anything to add on that, Raven? Uh no. Uh, I think Gus covered it pretty well. Um, right. Yeah, it's pretty strong in Pixel. I definitely see it a lot more these days. All right, cool. In that case, uh, kill him, Gus. That's not very nice. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Raven doesn't. I didn't expect you to be so close. <laughs> you should have. Uh, you should have used the. Uh... The big boomstick. I was thinking about it, but then I figured he might be like kind of close. So it was going to be tough. <laughs> All right. So now you want to go to a fireplace. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Reading and fireplace reading next, I'm fireplace. guessing. Yeah. Makes logical sense. Uh, again, you can play castle if you want. Hell yeah. We didn't really speak too much about castle on the last objective. It's probably fair to say that castle is most impactful in kitchen, at least in the way that we're going to be talking about it. Um, Secure the but bomb. we can talk about him a little bit on this side. Um, so again, if, if you're playing this objective and you're wanting to defend it as well, my the objective is not really going to be your first priority. Again, we're going to be heading back above. And this is where it starts to get a little bit more interesting and get a bit more um, creative. So some teams, for example, will play a Wamai or even just place the shield here and play Wamai elsewhere. Um, but place a shield here. So what this does is if the attackers get control of Pixel, which in most cases you're not going to be holding when defending this objective, you can sort of fortify it in a secondary aspect, I guess you could say, um, by holding top right behind this shield. It makes it quite difficult and de demonstrating another cheeky angle. So yeah, that's just something to keep in mind. Um, personally, and what most teams will do, is actually play a Wamai, or at least use your shield to hold Cocktail Lounge. So as we talked about earlier, there's a lot of destructibility here, a lot of the attackers want to gain control and as a defender you don't want that so you're going to try and push them back. Um, so what you can do is set up a sort of a, of a Wamai strategy of sorts. Um, you can get, again, there's quite a bit of flexibility here in what you want to reinforce and what you don't. Um, you want to place these gadgets quite sneakily as well to try and deny your shield from being taken out because remember the attackers have a lot of lines of sight. They have 
the skylight above, they have the new balcony, they have the shop, um, even if they get control and freezer. So that's at least three or four angles that projectiles and shots can be raining out from. So you have to be mindful of that. Also, you want to be mindful of behind if you're playing over my in this position and Dev, you can be my test dummy and put castle barricades up. Yep, so you might be uh, defenders or castle specifically placing his barricades on these eastern walls. And what that does is make it a little bit harder for anyone repelling to shoot you in the back of the head. Again, when you're trying to hold the shop. Yeah, maybe if you're if you're considering a castle for this objective, probably the main spots I would look at would be these uh, east facing windows, and you can actually include the east Window facing blocked. window of white stairs in that because, as you mentioned before, when you were talking about pixel, there is a long angle that white stairs can get onto pixel, and uh, if you just get rid of that, eliminate that angle with the castle barricade, then uh, barricade you have a bit up. more freedom in this hallway. Um, and the other thing about castle barricades, it's not just about denying that angle completely, but it gives you some warning before they're going to start pushing there. Like if they want to come here and, and use that angle, they have to invest time or utility to get rid of it, and you're going to have a queue so that you know oh, that they're going to do that. You can also do something like castle, this uh, window facing here, which uh, usually just gets angles over to where Guz is standing at the moment. Or you could even cast a lot of pixel just to delay time and waste more utility as well. Give yourself a bit more of a... Uh, a uh, bit more of a warning. Um, one thing we haven't really talked about is um, so the magnet placements themselves. Um, one cheeky thing that you can do and that I've picked up um, from casting masters is some of the teams will break half of the bar, the bar here and actually place the magnets inside. So as the projectiles go past the bar, pretend I'm the, object the projectile going past, <laughs> it'll actually still get caught. In the bar I can, there, I can simulate this. I can simulate it's quite a sneaky position. There you oh, go. but you have a second one. Mine's gonna get oh, there. We go, destroyed. boom. And that's another great example of one disc destroying the other one with the explosion. Yep. So, because you put two close together, they're Kali. Uh, what's what's the the lance? Is that what it's called? Yeah, uh, yeah, the yeah, lance. I, I actually don't know. The lance destroyed both of them. Yeah, so you can get pretty creative with the discs and place them in positions that are difficult to clear yet will protect you from projectiles um, but as we sort of talked about earlier you're most likely if you can coordinate it not going to be holding this alone because it is a lot to handle mm. so you should have support from your teammates to try and help you um, and again your magnets will help in um, denying the attackers quick um, quick picks or quick rushes because those projectiles are really hard to get past some of those magnets some other maybe pretty useful things on this bomb site if you uh, put a bulletproof camera where I have on cocktail you can see all down the hallway and maybe if you have someone on the objective who's safe they can just sit on that for you and say someone's pushing now and then you know to peek. Um, there's also with this shield placement here I was showing this angle off before you can get this angle all the way up onto the skylight um, and basically there's no way you're ever gonna lose this gunfight. Um, if you do, I am sorry, and you're probably going to be pretty mad. Famous last words. <laughs> but you should probably <laughs> never lose this gunfight. You just see that tiny triangle right up there. You would just aim like this at the start of the round, maybe, waiting for someone to pick up. And then as soon as that pixel changes color, just one tap. And that's probably going to be ahead. We've got a comment that Fuse ca counters were my and Jaeger. Well, we've actually also got Castle. This is almost like a Fuse's heaven right here, the situation that we've set up with these Castle barricades, because if the Fuse starts to put his uh, his gadget on this, uh, this Castle barricade, we can't shoot him back through it, uh, which is the normal way we would counter Fuse. Maybe we should uh, have well, more Fuse play in, uh, in comp. Yeah. <laughs> Question mark. And there you go. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah that point. The Ying is also a great great point as well. Uh, both of which will chew up any my discs as well for the magnets, so another great point. When he fuses you can shoot the hole. Yes, that is true. And good luck. It is a very small <laughs> hole. <laughs> and you're going to be dealing with giant explosive thingies coming at you, so good luck with that. <laughs> Um, anything else for this, uh, for Wamai or, or castle usage here on this bomb site? Uh, I think we covered this pretty well. So again, you can use this for um, the reading room slash dining, and you can even use it to an extent for the uh, mining bomb site as well, but that's probably a little bit uh, of a stretch. <laughs> yeah, um, but you could do the pixel hold. Oh, oh thanks. Yes, thanks, Raven, mate. Thanks. Did I down you? 
One did. friendly remaining. <laughs> I, I didn't know it was going to down you because you oh, had 200 HP, so I was cool. like, I'll try to hit a body shot, see what happens. Uh, no, it's insta down. <laughs> <laughs> There's a great demonstration of how strong those magnets can be. Yeah, definitely. Just smack them right in the face. Wait, wasn't it someone in Masters? Was it, um, was it Akami killed someone with a yeah. magnet or something? Yeah, yeah, team yeah. kill. <laughs> Yeah, I have uh, no idea how that happened, man. Alright, can we go kitchen? Right. Probably. I, to be honest, fireplace like and reading, like I said, it's a bit more foreign for me. Um, but kitchen is very. This is where it's really gets spicy. Yeah, is, yeah, nice. Spicy. Especially for the cast as well. Um, just had a quick oh, question. Any maestro cam placement ideas? Rope with that bulletproof camera on the top floor on the last round. That's yeah, a great spot glad. for a maestro camera as well. Alrighty. So again, for my, we're going to be playing a little bit more off site here in towards bakery um i often oh, enjoy having a rotate here. here so dev please do the honors Just, again if we want to fall back from this objective in similar fashion to pixel when it's going to be overwhelming we can just fall back to the site and it doesn't really expose a whole lot on the site um, nice if we reinforce this side for example it doesn't really give the attackers a lot to work with so we're gonna do a castle one my strat are we that is correct Oh, yeah. Alright, so deployable shield. Um, again, you can get pretty creative in how you want to use it. Personally, I try to place it somewhere around here, which really just extends the cover um, of the bench here, so you can get a bit more aggressive wide peeking towards the double door, um, whatever the case may be. No notably, that actually protects me. If uh, yeah. Previously, if I was going through this rotate hole and someone was standing on the left side of that door, they'd be able to shoot me, you can kind of tell, but that, that uh, shield perfectly protects me. Um, do you want to do the default castles? Then? Yep. Talk for that. What do you want me to explain? Oh, please, yeah, explain. Alrighty, so that first castle that Dev put up on the small bakery door, that basically protects um, any players from being taken out from the small bakery window, which has been opened behind Dev currently. Um, and the reason you want that covered is because if you want to rotate in towards prep or whatever the case may be, you really don't want being shot from there, or if the player actually gets control of that room, it makes it quite difficult and they will be forced to go through the rotate that Dev has made. The next castle will be the double door here. In most cases, I mean, it's up to you. Do you castle it? Uh, I probably wouldn't because okay. they can safely... My, my, my strategy with castle, I know we're doing one might tonight, not castle, but um, <laughs> if my castle barricade's up here and I'm an attacker, right, I'm thinking, oh, well, I don't even have to use any utility on this one. I can just hit it with my uh, my barrel uh, and 12 hits will destroy the castle barricade. So, um, because you're... S <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Raven. Because you can... Actually... <laughs> what? Where was that? Just you should have door. Lance, right? Just at the floor. Friendly last operator oh. standing. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> nice castle strats, bro. <laughs> I just tried to hit the ground. Your foot just in the way. <laughs> That's right, you can watch me. Oh god, what was that? That what was deep. Sorry, I don't know what came over me. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Demon just possessed you or something. <laughs> Alright, uh, what I was going to say in response to that, um, so sometimes the castle barricade being up there can be good. Um, if a team's not very wise with its utility, it could expend it. Um, if a team does punch it, you'd actually be surprised how many aren't expecting um, a Wormai, for example, be aggressive and actually counter pick that. You can actually inflict some pretty early damage um, on a defender by hitting their toes, or an attacker rather, by hitting their toes. Um, but as you mentioned, those castles um, can be placed elsewhere. Um, playing Wormai on this uh, in this position, again, like Pixel, your, your goal is to just waste time. Um, you want to be trying to deny anyone mainly from coming through this double door. That's where your biggest risk point is. Often, you don't have to worry too much about small bakery because you'll have a player, maybe a VIP helping, or even at the main door of the objective, so you don't have to stress too much. And they have to, you know, go for a pretty convoluted uh, sort of route that's going to make noise when they vault in, and etc. So you should know they're coming. Um, like, I, do you want to go on the uh, boost spot for me, Raven? The, on the car. Oh yeah. Can you vault there anymore? I think you can, right? Uh, you can just jump on the car, you'll be able to see me. In fact, you have the sniper, so you should be able to see He's me. talking about the, the far, the far back car, no, no, not, yeah, the, yeah, uh, above, not the armored car. Oh, you can't car. see my ping. No, uh, no, no. Just the far back uh, one. If you yeah, yeah, you should have an angle towards cup now. Yeah, I can see the coffee machine. 
Oops. Yeah, awesome. Oh, that actually shows up really nicely. So, um, often when I am playing OMI, I'll be quite um, aware of this. A lot of people that go on this angle think, oh yeah, this is a free kill, the player here has no idea. But in fact, if you're holding it first, you have the advantage. You're going to see them get in this position. They have to line up their crosshair, whereas you've already got it perfectly placed there. Um, to align it, it's basically just on the edge, sort of the border. Um, about, I don't know, four-fifths four of the way up the castle barricade. <laughs> um, you'll get a feel for it eventually. Um, and you can see Raven's little head poking through. And it's a pretty easy shot, again, but because they have to um, line up their crosshairs. So you can just... Oh, that. Friendly, victorious. Oh, that's basically Insane that shot there from Guz <laughs> onto Raven Cast. Oh, that's, that's so much more further out than I realized. <laughs> yeah. But again, I think the main consideration when playing that objective is you're trying to waste time. Because if they get control of Bakery really quickly, then they can make a lot of angles in towards site and the rest of your team will be pretty uncomfortable. Nice, Gary. Um... <laughs> is that everything on Cupcake for Wumai? Did you want to do like maybe I don't know VIP? I've I know I sometimes hold VIP with Wumai. Yeah, sure. I mean I don't personally, but Secure I've the bomb. probably passed it enough of it to sort of have a general idea. Yeah, yeah. Sounds Ten good. Seconds. Cool. So as we mentioned earlier, um, the backside of kitchen or the freezer um, provides pretty nice access in towards a default plant um, in B. But one way as a defender you can try and slow this down is by holding the VIP. So you'll sometimes see teams using like a shield in like a whole range of, of positions. Um, here's one for example, you can get sort of a pixel angle, etc. Allows you to wide peak. Um, and you'll just be placing your discs in and around VIP to try and hold that shield from being taken out yourself. And I mean, this is maybe a good opportunity to bring up Castle. I mean, one thing you could do if you want to get really creative is uh, parceling off uh, sort of the dining window or maybe even the coat store. Yep. You really want to invest utility? It, it really depends on how window risky you want to get. Up. Because as I mentioned earlier, if you're playing Wabai in this position, your main objective, like in most cases, is to waste time and stop them from getting freezer wall open. If that means that you have to die at the end of the day, then that may well be the case. But the more time that you waste, the more utility that the attackers spend on you, then that makes the rest of your team's lives a little bit easier. One of my favorite strategies here um, with Wamai, uh, it doesn't specifically have to be with Wamai, you could do it with anyone that has a shield, and ideally someone that has a shotgun or a teammate that has a shotgun, so in this case we've got the castle and Wamai combination. Um, one reinforcement on garage to give you a little bit more freedom with how you move, one reinforcement on freezer to create a few more protected positions for defenders inside of freezer, and then not a, a crouch hole or, or a sprintable hole, but a, a uh, voltable hole here into freezer so that for example i uh, i was playing this position a little while back in a 10 man and the attackers kept attacking bakery um so what am i going to do if they're attacking bakery if no one's pushing me well i'm useless so you can get back to the bomb site so try and get back to the bomb site oh no what if they're playing in small bakery cutting you off so this is a, a really great way for you to just get back into the bomb site and, and be a reinforcement to the rest of your team um while still being able to hold VIP. And you might think, oh, but that means they don't have to use a Thermite Charge or Hibana Pellets to open this wall. Well, that's why you play this position, so that even if they, they try to take advantage of the fact that this hole isn't fully reinforced, um, you can just protect it, because if they try and vault through, they're going to be exposed, and you can kill them right. by playing from this advantageous position in VIP. Awesome. Yo. Nice. So, uh, please don't, don't stare at me like that, Raven. I'm scared. <laughs> uh, so what do we reckon? Doing a bit of a free-for-all or something? Doorway barricade. Uh, you always say that and then all hell breaks loose. I will watch so I get outside question. the door. <laughs> Did that damage you? Did that damage you? Yeah, 5 HP. 5 oh, cool. HP. Nice. You have entered an enemy you controlled home. area. Leave See you guys. You have been spotted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking the boat back to Australia. It's inflatable, I don't think it'll last though. <laughs> wow. This is a pretty scenery. Very pretty scenery. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Cafe is set in Russia. Whoa! Way to kick That's a man scary. while he's down. 
<laughs> you did scare me. I was trying to read the sign, and now my screen is blurry, and so I can't. Actually, to be fair, I probably wouldn't have been able to anyway, because I can't speak Russian. Friendly, last operator standing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You just lanced okay. me. I, I did was, just lance you. You know what? That's why Where they call me Lance a lot. Oh, 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 oh no! I was gonna try and one tap you with the pistol. All <laughs> well, I one tapped you, so. <laughs> yeah, true, you did. <laughs> Insane. Oh, once uh, once old, the new season dude. drops, we've got to do a Carly episode. I'm so excited for it. <laughs> oh, 100%. All right, me too. <laughs> um, look, if you. Do you want, is there anything else you want to go over with Will Mike? Because if not, we can just jump into the Q&A section and, and play some games. Quick match. Um, yeah, I think we've covered, yeah, the fundamentals of Amai there. And um, yeah, I feel pretty comfortable if you guys do. Awesome. Yeah. I think we got it. I think we got it. <laughs> Heck yeah. Uh, well, I can invite or whoever can invite. Doesn't matter. I don't think me and Raven can invite each other because um, we just have that rivalry, you know? Just doesn't <laughs> the game understands that, that must we be have the that issue. Rival, right? <laughs> yeah, that must be it, dude. That must be it. I invited Gus. Um, oh. oh, you got it? Okay, cool. Gus can invite me then. Whoa, so best were my skins. What do we reckon? Uh like for him or you mean like weapons? I don't know. Either or Can you invite Raven, Gus? Uh, I cannot invite Ray. Well, wait. What's your you play? I should be. I should be in D and D. Raven casts dash. It's not coming up. What? What are you doing, Raven? Come on, man. I can see. I can Let see. Let me you're back out. Well, why don't you guys invite me? Let me try inviting Raven now. Newsboy no, plus PL Golden Skin says Cthulhu. All right. I don't have the Pro League skins. <laughs> Unfortunately. Oh no. <laughs> well, they're still available, Dev Mata. Are they? Let's have a look. They're on discount. Did what? you know? What do they what do they fall under? Um do they come under digital content? I think it is digital content for those ones, mm, yeah. No, I can't see it on the list no? here. Bundles? Must be. Bundles says Cthulhu. Right. And then if you could invite uh Dev please guys. Alright, I'll just invite us. <laughs> wow there's a lot of uh a lot of cosmetics here that because i usually just look through the operator menus but there's a lot of cosmetics here that i don't usually see um did i scroll past it already pro league pro league were my yeah wow nice oh that is colleen <laughs> yeah it's pretty nice i've actually never bought a pro league set the Kali one's really good too. Yeah, I noticed you rocking that before. <clears throat> we can get all, all sets for a low, low price. Well, it is 864 R6 credits with the season pass. I can tell you that much. That's cheap. Yeah. Well, sets. I don't have enough. Um, don't have enough R6 credits for it because I spent it all on skins. <laughs> all the pro uh, league skins. Classic. Speaking of, you can actually get the uh, all the Pro League skins. So, for example, I recently got the Norengo uh, skin oh, for the, the MVX. the eSports teams? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, the eSports teams. You can grab all those at the moment. They're all on sale uh, with a special complete set bundles, which is pretty nice. Well, this is my Thermite map. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I'm very specific with my operators on maps. <laughs> Oh, actually, this is a good one. My this is a good one. My map objective as well. Right on, and a good castle good objective. Life. Indeed, indeed. Hit him with the indeed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Anarchy just reminds everybody watching: this is the Q and A section, so fire away some questions. And guess what, Reb and I even actually just changed it on OBS to the the uh, Q and A topic. So, hey, well done. Synergy. Dude. Look, you go. You are flying, Death Model. Thank you, man. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Milosh is in chat. Uh, G'day, Milosh. Hey, How's it going? What's up, Milosh? Oh. Secure the bombs. All right. Yeah, I, for a second, I thought we were still in custom games, and I was like about to start going into tutorial <laughs> mode. And I'm like, wait, this is an actual prep phase. 
Yeah, if you want to run out to the northwest spawn, you can show people where the attacker spawn. <laughs> yeah, that's Might a great idea, Raven. I'll do that. That'd be helpful. I'm doing a super sweaty setup here. Yeah, I'm gonna do the Kanto setup. <laughs> With the echo drain. Oh, have we got the. Oh, you have the Kanto. Nice. Oh, I don't have impacts. That's a sad face. I also didn't reinforce the main wall. That's nice. I can say, bro, you're flying today. Yeah, absolutely on fire, mate. <laughs> So anyone who's just joined now, we have just completed the uh, the one my tips and the cafe tips. But if you have any questions about them, we'd be happy to do them. Uh, our expert Guz, who we know <laughs> is the expert at getting spawn keys. It was a no crush blue, okay? I cannot explain that. <laughs> He'll he's oh, happy to answer your questions. So much. Cthulhu asks Roni or Commando. Uh, Commando for me personally. Ah, hello there, main stairs. Is that main stairs? Side, side stairs. And, and, and oh, yep. yeah, Jesus. <laughs> 10 HP at least. <laughs> Deleted. Nice. Yeah, I know. I lit him up so much, bro. He was like, he was like 5 HP after I All after I shot him. All eliminated. I definitely, <laughs> oh. I definitely shot him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right on. We got game done. Time to game them back. Oh. Uh. Magic with a, a big question here. Uh, you guys can answer this first in the line. So, uh, for all the casters, which PL or major series do you wish you got to cast? Uh, do you want to go first, Dev? Or I, I can't. I don't know actually. Um, I'm thinking. I think season ten for me. Um, I mean, I don't go as far back as some of the OG seasons. So for me, um, season ten, whether it be APAC or um, international. Both, both were quite exciting to watch from home, so would have been cool to cast those, I guess. In particularly the, uh, in particular, the wild card uh, Navi game that was that was nice. Secure the area, keep the bombs protected. Raven, um, uh, probably one of the Fnatic upset games. You know, like one of the ones from Invitational or even the original Fnatic upset game. Because, the EG one. Uh, Yes, the EG one in the uh, Brazil the, uh, Pro League finals. Okay. The Team Liquid one was before that. Team Liquid at SI. Yeah, I don't remember that feeling as hype though. You know? Really? Like, there was something. Uh, yeah, there was something about that EG one in particular that was like incredibly hype. And I remember I casted when Wildcard qualified for Tokaname. I casted that series, and uh, that was just a good feeling because like. You know, the whole homegrown pride, passion uh, kind of thing. Yeah, I'm not sure for me what uh, what it would be. Um, there were a lot of good ones at Invitational, but you know, I wasn't even thinking about casting at the time because I was doing the desk for him. Um, I don't know. Hey. Spectre, go off. Changing max! <laughs> oh jeez! Hell yeah, mate! We got boss G's in here. No, oh, I'm being jackaled. Ah, oh, yes, <laughs> yes. This guy, okay, he's unstoppable, mate. Whoa, hello. One. That guy Claymore Blue says, I think he's gonna rotate eh? One up. I got the Zephyr in lobby. I think Jack was still in my basement. That's where he jacked with me from before. The diffuser main lobby. Spot boy. Oh, how did I lose that again? <laughs> hey, it's like a replica of the first <laughs> Refrags, that's what we're oh. about here at Late Night Siege. The refrags. All, all brain, no aim, that's all I'm saying. I definitely don't have aim with shots like that. <laughs> <laughs> Questions of hosts. Most fun but not sweaty for, uh, but fun up to play. Ooh. I'll demonstrate my choice right now. Uh, anything with Boss G, honestly. Boss G and um Yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it right now. Um <laughs> Boss G and like the snipers. I just find them really fun to play. I feel that. Why do I use MP5K with uh, Wamai? 
I'm assuming that that Sammy is meant to be with my. <laughs> um, yeah, um, we talked about this a bit before. The uh, the orc has a higher um, damage, but it's just slightly lower fire rate, and um, also the the MP5K has a faster aim down sights time. So using that MP5K is just a bit better for headshots. And like in that previous round, I did get a kill through a headshot just on a tight angle. And um, yeah, so mainly just because I'm going for headshots instead of going for body shots. I want a bit more mobility with it as well. Um, yeah. I think one, one thing is... Oh, sorry. Oh, no, please, go. please. I talk too much. <laughs> one thing I was going to mention as well is the org itself is quite a large weapon in size. So you'll find that often, at least yeah, in competitive, a lot of players it. actually don't pick it. Um, primarily in the bases, it actually takes Five up a lot of your screen. And the more that your gun's covering, the less that you're going to see. So that's something to keep in mind. You've located a bomb. Watch, actually, run out, Ellie. Run out, Ellie. Okay. <laughs> I downed one. Well, this is working great for him, isn't it? What the f oh, it's Doc! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no, bro. <laughs> I need to reload. Oh, no. I like how he got downed behind the perfect cover as well. <laughs> oh, this is not good. It's all right. Oh, they ran away. Oh, then he ran, ran back out again. <laughs> JM wins these, mate. JM has got this. Oh, yes. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Mm. Come on. <laughs> I believe. I'm scared, dude. No. Oh. Come on, mate. Yeah! Oh, yeah. There we go. Hit the GM, <laughs> mate. Clean. Hit the GM. Is Ooh, that a run out of the valve? Surely JM door. clutches this. Double door? Double door? I'm sure it was double door. Oh. Yep. What? What? I didn't even see him. <laughs> I've seen him win these. I've seen him win these. He doesn't lose these. He doesn't lose these, mate. But well, the guy's on five kills so far. Thoughts on Ace and Malusi? Had a lot of people think the defender is going to be really strong if she remains as is. I think something to remember about Malusi that not a lot of people are talking about is um, you're, you're sacrificing other utility um, to bring her, and um, a lot of the time you can accomplish her job with other operators including secondary gadgets like bulletproof cameras to get the information um proximity alarms to get information and uh, barbed wire as well to slow people down so it's not like she's completely unprecedented and there's never anything you've seen before that's kind of similar to her you've got lesion who has more um more gadgets than she does to slow people down you have ella as well um so I think she's definitely going to be powerful and viable, but it's not like she's going to be an, an on-release Ella any, or anything like that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, near the bomb. Yeah, I, I agree with that sentiment as well. He wins this. I'm feeling it. Good thing we've got oh. JM in here. He doesn't lose these. <laughs> There was a question in chat about tips on staying calm during high pressure moments. Uh, and look, I think instead of asking me, maybe you should message JM because uh, <laughs> he really stayed calm and he nailed that. He did. <laughs> Too good, mate. Um, to seriously answer that question though, uh, yeah, breathing is a, ma a massive part. So when people get nervous, they usually have an increased heart rate, which means that they are taking shallower breaths, which also makes you feel stressed out and... The best way to counteract that is just take deep breaths and try to relax as much as possible. Um, staying hydrated is also a really important part of that. So they're my two biggest things is just stay hydrated and if you feel stressed, just relax and take some deep breaths. Yeah, I find I also sometimes just take it back to basics. Helps for me, just you know, chill out. Remember that the stakes aren't that high. It doesn't matter if you lose, so what? He loves everything. Just, just internet death. points. Just, just internet everything. points. Um, good, good uh, thing in chat from Grim. He says, "Re." So that really good. That's comment a great there. question. Great, great. Do you want me to, oh. He actually has a question. Would you like? I, I can answer. Yeah, yeah. Please, please do. Grim. Please do. All right. So Grim asks, "What does Sinister vs. Kanga from this week 
uh, tell you about Sinister's form. So let's maybe preface that by saying that Sinister and Kanga are two teams competing in Six Masters 2020, which is an event that us three Five all um, help to cast. Um, Raven and myself actually Obama casted that game, I believe. Was it Sinister versus Kanga? No. Yeah, we did, yeah. Nice shot, Raven. Oh, yes, we, we did cast that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> nice shot, guys. <laughs> it's like one shot, two shot. Um, oh. So yeah, Sinister vs. Kanga was um, a pretty interesting game. Um, no, I keep saying the word interesting, but that's a whole other story. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, Sinister v Kanga, Sinister managed to win the Series 2-0, but the most surprising outcome from that was the fact that Kanga really took it up against them there on the first map. Um, I don't think you can really read too much into that match because Don't Kanga uh, was sort of going through that rebuild phase still. I'm talking to Moloska, who plays for Team Sinister after that match. There was definitely some issues on their end that were plaguing them throughout that map. Um, so look, I think it was a valiant effort there from Kanga and probably one of their best matches so far in the season. Their roster change as well working quite nicely, but I think they're still a long way away from being competitive. So hopefully they can use the rest of this season leading into future tournaments to try and improve. I hope that answers your question. I'm going for the YOLO repel. Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> well, everything went really as expected. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Dude was literally right underneath me as well. <laughs> it's alright, it's JM left, mate. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Don't you worry. No, I droned like right next to that spot as well. That's funny. On the balcony, and one like bottom lobby near Lone. On the west side, actually. One west side lobby. Yeah, close right. Pushing metal? Uh, four, Pushing right, ATMs. Last one ATMs. ATMs. These guys just love peeking, mate. They love peeking. ATMs, ATMs double, double right, right side. Oh, now he's pinked. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Now we run it. <laughs> <laughs> um, favorite map remake? That's a toughie for me. Um, I think a lot of people would say Cafe. For me personally, um, I don't know. I feel like Theme Park is there at the moment for me, and Oregon has the potential to to become my favorite remake as well. I'd say yeah. Clubhouse. Personally. Oh yeah, that's a good one. I one yeah. that's really. Um, Held the test of time, and it wasn't actually. It was still another map released in that season, right? It wasn't just the rework. Am I correct in saying that? Um. Because I'm pretty sure it was like a minor rework. It was the very first rework. It was a minor one, and I don't think it was the only map released. I, don't fully I could be wrong. Actually, but it was a long uh, time ago. I believe it I was think... released on the, the half season. But I might. Be. Yeah, that's right. It was actually yeah, mi yeah mid season reinforcement. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, for me, club or club or theme park. At the moment, I'm really enjoying theme park. Mm. So. Um, yeah. my friends, someone's requesting a cast for the rest of this round. What do you guys reckon? I know you want to try the three-way uh, cast at some point. Raven oh, we've got 20 seconds to do it. So do it. <laughs> Over you, Raven. Go ahead. Okay, alright. So, JM, he's spotted the bomb. He's got Valkyrie to find. Valkyrie pre-fires in his position, but doesn't quite hit the shots. 15 seconds, he's going to have to try to get Plant down, but he's not going to bonk. He's going to bonk him right in the face. And that's actually going to bring us into overtime. Ooh. That was quite a significant Ooh. bonk, wouldn't you say? And through the wall as well. The kind of bonk that we usually expect to see from a player such as Bonk playing an operator like the Valkyrie. Um, guys, I know that that's particularly your area of expertise. Do you really think he was <laughs> oh, able no. to land that shot due to simply being Bonk? Yeah, look, the only thing I have to comment about that play is there wasn't enough Dev Marta gasps. But other than that, <laughs> it was uh, quite a solid <laughs> play there from the Valkyrie. Love uh, it. Nailed it. Good stuff, That's mate. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try the org now. Let me give the org a shot. Let's see what skins have I got. Oh, I'm gonna do the Bartlett skin. Where is it? There we go. The bomb kicks, man. <laughs> <laughs> Protect the bomb. Uh, most common mistakes silvers make. Ooh. Uh, most common. That's tough. Uh, maybe not better finding their sensitivity for a PC player. I, I see a lot of silvers uh, making it hard for themselves with their aim. Uh, yeah, I think the one thing for me that is tends to be pretty common among low uh, low ranked players is one Q 
communication or a lack thereof. So either one, not using a mic, or two, not being very efficient with communication. Um, and secondly would be um, a lack of knowledge regarding default setups, so the setups that you would commonly see in competitive play, for example, that can be replicated in matchmaking pretty quickly. The basic ones, sometimes lower rank players aren't very uh, educated on them, it's probably the best way to say it. So that can be a bit of a downfall sometimes. For me, I'm going to go with crosshair placement. I'm not sure if you guys said that already. Oh my god, I'm actually a bot. Uh, well, that's kind of that's half what I was getting at with my aim, the aim comment I made, I guess. Mm. But yeah, crosshair placement in general. People think aim, a lot of people think like having the most insane reaction times and like flicks and stuff. You know, flicks are absolutely not the most important thing in Rainbow Six. Um, and if you have good crosshair placement, you just walk around the map, always with your mouse at head height instead of looking at the floor like this. This is what you. This is a demonstration of bad crosshair placement right now. Because if I zoom in, uh, I'm not aiming at someone's head level. This is a better example of good crosshair placement, where if I just go right click, I'm always aiming at head level or crash level because they're the two possible places that people can be. And uh, if you just pre-aim angles while doing that, like what we're doing now, it uh, really helps you uh, compensate for having bad aim, like me. Magnet deployed. <laughs> Or you could just be just Spectre and kill everybody with the revolver. <laughs> Man's got um, game. Yeah. That's got game. This is true. No one has worse aim than me, says Asbag. Look, mate, we need to organize it. Have you been watching the stream? Have you been watching the stream? <laughs> Thanks, guys. I have one question. Have you been watching the stream? <laughs> oh, no. We need uh, we need a, uh, a bad aim competition. Um, <laughs> well, me on that last map. <laughs> I <took> the donut. <laughs> Speaking of uh, classic. Speaking of well, my tonight, you mentioned we've got the Ubisoft Club challenge for the well, my birthday challenge. Um, destroy 20 attacker drones while defending to unlock the Wamai's gift weapon skin. I like how it's destroy 20 attacker drones while defending. So like, <laughs> so people don't just go in on the attack and start shooting all their teammates' drones. <laughs> yeah, nice. The MP5K as well. Interesting. Mm. Yeah, look, I couldn't shoot a drone if I tried at the moment, so we'll just... Uh, <laughs> it's alright guys, all you need to do is to just thing. work on your crosshair placement. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> no, yes. <laughs> Alright. You guys want to do an upstairs hold with me? I'll bring the <sighs> castle. We'll get a bit advanced here in the casual strats. You bet. Oh, and Omega. Oh, you bet. Wow, this is the sweatiest <laughs> lineup for casual I've ever seen. Top three operators to master to get good. Smoke, Mute, and Valkyrie on defense on my three. Big one. I'd add Jaeger yeah. into that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. You don't master Jaeger. You just put his stuff down, and then go kill people. On attack, I'd say Buck, Thatcher, Maverick. Yeah, because yeah. most people don't master those operators, and there's actually more mm. to it than you think. <laughs> I definitely agree on Buck. Oh, sorry, on uh, Maverick rather. Um, I think yeah. he's the, the most important out of those ones. Um, the the what the one that Maverick is the operator where you see things go wrong, kind of like Castle. <laughs> yes. You see things go wrong. Yeah. Um, I'll bring one Rio upstairs for you guys. I'm doing let's two put Ash, Let's put Ash wall. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah Ash wall. On attack for me. I mean, I'm biased. I'm saying all my favorite operators here and my uh, my mains, if you will. Oh my god, I'm gonna get this one my challenge in no time. Just got three drones. <laughs> oh, the, the drone hunt. Absolutely. Um, where do you want it on the main wall here? This Astro wall. Is fine. Astro. Like middle Astro wall. Astro. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, I'd say Hibana for attack, I think, and maybe Ace when he comes out. Just a really versatile and strong attacker who can frag out and also has really important utility. Um, we don't have any vertical holes, right? No, we do not. We'll place them, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Alright. Nice. I don't think oh. there's... This guy's won't be very happy about that. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, this guy in mud. 
mud, hey? Okay. In mud? What That's is fun. mud? <laughs> you don't know mud? I know mud. No? It's the, the small room with a single window on like the oh, first okay, floor yeah, west yeah. side. It's this room right here to my right. Was he in? Was he actually in mud, Raven? Ah, uh, yes, he was. One bedroom bell. It's okay. Ah, rate of fire. Was... No, no, no. Where's that Havana? I'm seriously bound. Well. Oh, that was. Yeah, the Havana was one bedroom bell. I hear something. That's a castle. Ah, uh, master bedroom is Zofia. They're going bathroom or something. Someone mentioning um, Ace's ability to not only well, uh, not only hype for his ability, but also the AK-12 on the two speed, and I. Very much agreed. No! <laughs> Nuts. <laughs> oh, hats off. Um, Fathom. Yes. Hats off to this AK -12 guy. AK-12 is, is a very fun gun. I think the weirdest thing for me with the AK-12 was actually, I still am getting used to the normal ACOG. The normal ACOG being placed um, on that gun, as opposed to the Russian optic. Oh, yeah. Which is a little yep. bit weird when you're first getting used to it. I definitely prefer like the the NATO one though as opposed to the Russian one. Personally. Yeah, for sure. I just find the um that like dot on the Russian one. I don't know. Something about it I find hard to aim with. You guys make me want to use the Russian air cog. <laughs> Cheat. Gotcha. On the other side. She's below. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh no! It all just went downhill from that point, mate. It all went downhill. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think my dog is like rubbing himself against my bed. Are you alright, mate? <laughs> yeah, I think he's alright. Alright. He's gonna sleep now. Cool. Ah. <sighs> um. Yeah. I'm going to go back to MP5K so that I can pretend that that was the reason I died that round. When in fact it was actually because I tried to knife someone. Oh, I thought you were going to try and shoot him with the Keratos. I thought that's what you were doing. I was switching to the Keratos to um, sprint faster. I actually wanted to magnet him. Like I wanted to throw the, the discs at him. <laughs> <laughs> I had three of them in the pocket. Clear the area. Keep the bombs protected. Right, I have a strat, my friends. I have a strat. That's not surprising. Dev saying I Can have I a strat a... is always very dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a bandit battery, please, Raven? On my shield? Uh, uh, sure. Cheers. That's gonna get shot from the window, isn't it? Uh, no, that's safe. No, I mean my, well, my disc. Oh, oh. Yeah, maybe. Ah, that you should be top fragging on Gomai after my little masterclass, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, my bad. Need any rears anywhere? Probably not. I'm too lazy to do them. It's casual. Reinforcements are optional. Yes, I can do these ones. Raven's 2k has been wasted. Look, you ain't wrong. <laughs> Did you try and do that run out C4? Yeah. That's cheeky, not for I don't think any of them spawn fountains. That's. Let's go there. Magnet ready. There is one master now. Master Balfour. Can you dock me, please? Is it on the window, Raven? Hey, let's pick up. Yeah. Oh no. Did I kill him with the claymore? I got you, bro. I got you. I got you. Surely I damaged him with his own claymore then. He was right on it. I reckon you did, yeah. Can I have another skin, please? That's the best. 
Can you help out? You good? No, 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 dude. No stress, mate. No worries. That guy just died. Oh, I have fat fingered the wrong button. <laughs> He's uh coming up to ninety. From class four, ninety already. Yeah. Totally hard right. Now. That's one up, four remaining. Balcony. Okay, he's right side of the east window. Kind of peeking it now. Oh no, how'd I lose Ooh. that? Well played to him there. Oh, well played to him there. He's in the org. And I'm not, maybe that was my problem. Yeah, look, so you should stuck the org now. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually in master now. Is this meant to be like this guy's name meant to be like nauseous? Is that what it's meant to be? Good question. What a oh, play, this dude. <laughs> what a play. <laughs> this man I don't know actually actually how you would how, how you would pronounce that. Nauseous? Nauseous. Nauseous. Kind of like nauseous, but Maybe or maybe it's actually pronounced Kanokius. <laughs> Kanokius. <laughs> Right on, attack! Yeah, that's what I'm about. Hmm, who do we want to play? I kind of feel like playing Yana, but I always get... Oh, that's not Yana, that is Finca. That is Yana. I always get lazy when I play Yana. Don't actually do what I say I'm going to do. Like, How so? Like, what do you mean you get lazy? I don't know, I just, like, never play it properly. I don't know why. What, what did, would you consider properly, Dev? Good strategies that will be... Im Conducive to winning. <laughs> I just try and cheese stuff and it never works. It's merely Yana's a mentality be, thing. I think Yana's gonna be very strong and competitive, to be honest. She's so very good when working with the team. Yeah. She's gonna be oh, they're live a lot. Oh, they've been watching late night seeds, they got Wamai. And they've got Man. the LFO strat, they must be watching Six Masters as well. I swear, if we see some nuts with my players running around. I hope no one blames me. Be advised, your drone has located bomb. I am going to pre-place a drone at 90. I've got a mozzie pizza head as well. Oh no. Ben's good. Mozzie mozzarella. Mozzarella. 10 seconds. Impeccable drone spot right here, boys. 5 seconds. <laughs> Proceed to bomb's location and defuse it. I'm just determined to get at least one kill tonight. <laughs> You're asking for a lot, mate. I oh, know, I am. <laughs> hey, Dev, do you have recharges? Ah, uh, what? Do you have recharges? No, I have a nade. Oh, I have a nade too. Nice. I'll, I'll knife it with you. How many hits does it take? Oh, just make a hole. Oh, that's, oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> 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 This is the best exhibition of teamwork I think we've ever had on the show. You missed the spot, dude. Hey! Can you get through? Can you get through? Not quite. Oh no! <laughs> uh, I'll try working this side. Let's finish this bit off. We got it. We got it. We got it. Hey. Surely. <coughs> We're in! I hear a guy near us this way. Yeah. I'm scared. I think Twitch has like Twitch planting in sight. Yeah. Alright, I'm yonering up. Refrag me, refrag. Alright, piano clear. Checking hallway, hallway's clear. Behind me. Okay, Jeez. Oh, and oh, behind me. Last operator standing. <laughs> oh, really? Not Unbelievable Yana plays, never seen before <laughs> strategies. 
I have no, no idea where The highlight was. of that round has got to be us just knocking our way through <laughs> that barrel. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit of a pog. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Yeah, well, proven strategy. That that actually that strategy has yeah. a 100% success rate. It's funny cuz it felt like uh the Twitch like rush planted or something, but I didn't really look at how much time we took. About it would a whole minute. easily be a minute, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was it was 2:30 by the time we got through and there's 3:30 in casual, so yeah. 1 minute. We could have used our grenades. Didn't end up using them during the round anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Could have used some bullets to help. Yeah. It's not about what's most effective, it's what's about most what is it's it's about what is most fun. Bomb. Exactly. My tongue ain't working, it's like it's a Friday night or something and I can't speak because it's Friday night, end of the week. I thought you were gonna say Tuesday <laughs> night because it was a master's podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just math, let's not speak. <laughs> <laughs> it's infectious as well, apparently. Are they kitchen, I'm guessing? Ah, uh, yeah, I think they are. Yeah, they are. They really are. Located a bomb. And there's a Valkyrie Insertion making a, an improvised rotate in the picture with a... Five seconds to go. Bad guy going up red stairs, I repeat. Bad guy going up red stairs. Proceed to bomb's location and defuse it. Let him. Hey, Raven, I'm gonna go into the basement again. You wanna come? Ah, uh, yeah. But I'm, I'm going on the other side. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I have diffuser as well, so I apologize, guys. Oh, oh no, this, uh, this barrel's broken. Oh, I just hurt myself. What? Oh, this is gonna be bad. I need jammer bottom pantry stairs. I did it. You can drone up now. You can drone up. All right. Has been located. Right. Out of one drop laundry, one I think. One playing bottom brown and one playing piano. Uh, oh, we're just we're just in. Uh, we're just Bottom main. Bottom main. <laughs> I'm getting spotted. She's way far. She's way far. He's playing pots. Piano. Trying to red hole. I think. But... I need it. I helped, oh, guys. I helped. I promise. Friendly I helped. Is that the game? That is the game. I definitely helped that game. I promise. Wow, that's <laughs> a that's a real hashtag Team Raven moment. That is. That is a hashtag Team Raven moment. Look at that MVP. 2.0 KD. Insane. Here we go. Hey Raven, knock knock. Who's there? MVP. <laughs> MVP who? Raven is the MVP of the game and he was playing knock, therefore it was a joke t with the pun. <laughs> oh, that, was oh, that was a good one. That yes. Was, oh, that Absolutely was terrible. Uh, I really don't like the way Gaz is infringing upon my positive vibes. Uh, oh. <laughs> so at least he said it on this and not a pro league broadcast a six <laughs> masters broadcast or something get all my lame jokes out of the way for yeah. that seed so that we don't inflict it on people for uh, six masters yeah this is a testing ground I don't think that one passed the test <laughs> <laughs> oh cafe here we go Let's this is go. what we've been waiting for we've been training I did for hours I did survive I did survive alright alright I did this castle hopefully we I don't get mining <laughs> <laughs> literally any other bomb site's fine <laughs> oh, I, I had to you say jinxed it, it I? mate. You absolutely jinxed it. All right, I'm I'll gonna do pixel hold. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the uh, defending from below hold with a pulse. Nice. Jay is like, no, I'm gonna not do. for me. I gotta do. We have a Tachancha. It's a good start. Tachancha. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get warden. Also, nice. someone said Team Raven merch when, I don't know, maybe that's something I could organize. <laughs> Do it, mate. I'll wear a Team Raven t-shirt. Awesome. I'll hold you to that and tell you what. All right. It, it shows no one supports hashtag Team Dev, even Dev himself. 
get the Hey, bomb. what you should do, Raven, for this round, you should go up and stand next to that painting on the top floor. Oh, what? And just see if I blend in? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a perfect camouflage. Perfect. That's such a great idea. <laughs> actually, where do I want to Rio? I actually don't know where I want to Rio, to be honest. I'm going to Rio Garage. When in doubt, Rio Garage. <laughs> That is the way of cafe. Oh, what are we defending? Oh, this. Mining. <laughs> what are we defending? Ten seconds. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Can we get red wall done? Uh, uh, I, I was gonna do red wall and then I decided no. It's a third. Do you need one or do that? Yeah, just one. Just one. Uh oh, we reinforced site. It's not a good sign. I'm gonna try and see if we're at the hatch wow. based on the sound. No, they really put a breaking lot of garage. On they might garage. Outside garage. Yeah, I hear them. VIP. In VIP? Oh Wish my they didn't goodness. Blow, they didn't blow garage. I don't know what they're doing. VIP oh, is 2 there. HP? Yes. Capital is in VIP. That is why you do not put suppressors on guns, my, my friends. Because then they do um, no damage. Sledge is down the pillars. And Buck is coming in to revive him. No, it's time to game, boys. It's time to He's game. reviving now. He's reviving now. Nice. Well, that Kappa Tower's low. Now we this gets camp. revived because I think. Hello, Thermite. Go, 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 go! Oh, no, Gus! Oh. Wait, what? Did I not kill him? No. no. Oh, I, got, <laughs> I, li I literally got a lag spike, bro. Like, literally. Right bit there. Of, bit of a uh, whiff. Thermite bottom Bucks white. Boy. Semi bottom white. One friendly oh! It's alright to chance your how I didn't kill them white then. Jesus. That was nuts. Oh my god, look at this wall. <laughs> look at look at this wall to the left. <laughs> it's just the bars left. Everything else is gone. Should we bait them? Should we just tell them his train? Yeah, do it. See if they rush it. Please aim the thing, dude. No, don't plant. They're planting. Oh! oh no! Oh, no. The, the, the cast the curse. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. No! Oh, no. <laughs> wow. The disappointment is immeasurable. Kitchen! <laughs> Alright, do you want to do that rotate? Uh, start with the rotate? Oh, yeah. Sure. yeah. I'll bring the, the Omega uh, combo, <laughs> trademarked by Raven. That term. Oh, I remembered actually. Yes, Omega trademark me. Um, I <laughs> remembered a question I was going to ask earlier, guys. I don't know if I ever, ever asked you. What's the origin of your game name? That is a good question. Um, so Guz is effectively a nickname for my surname Gurry. Um, and that nickname Guz or it's uh alternate form of Gaza is a nickname that both my Secure um, the bombs. dad and my grandfather had when they were younger growing up. So I sort of just went with that. Runs in the Away family. Awesome. Your, your gamer tag runs in the family of many gamer generations before you. The real, the real OGs will know what my name was back in the Xbox, day, the Xbox days, but uh, we're going to keep that one under wraps because huh? uh, <laughs> it's a little bit cringe. <laughs> Is it the, it's, not uh, it's not inappropriate or anything, but it's, it's, it's just, just a the extension. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Just gonna rotate. It does it. like you? No, no, no. This is not OG, OG. <laughs> you wouldn't I know might be running out, by the way, guys. Just, I just want you guys to know. I wow. promise I'll Did you play two? Story, yeah, I placed two. Four has located a bomb. Be ready for hostile action. Oh, he knew, he knew he had, he had a drone. Ash, 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 keeping, Ash, keeping. <laughs> I made it, I made uh, it. This is the perfect time, they're gonna go on boost, I'm gonna kill him, surely. The default cam's still up, I think, as well. Yeah, it is. No, no, it's nice pick. That's Ash dead. Wow. Good. <laughs> That's Sledge. Small bait. Let me off the double, Guz. Oh, that, that was me. <laughs> right. oh. I have defuser, by the way. The banner getting prep for. The banner outside prep somewhere. Oh, blue van. Right. Oh, I tried to refrag it. 
<laughs> yeah, okay. no, no worries, mate. One friendly operator yeah. remaining. No way, just might have lose. Yeah, no, no worries, mate. We have Cam Bakery. So. Yeah, that's Diffuser. Oh, I okay. kill her with the Tachanka turret. Oh, perfect. Well, well, we have two minutes. Um, people in chat thinking I had the classic XX at the start of my old name. <laughs> I definitely did not. <laughs> it, it uh, now I'm disappointed. Nah, it wasn't that classic. <laughs> Pretty sure he's gonna come to the kitchen. Bomb. Yeah, he's in kitchen, dude. Who would do that? Well, you I have a bulletproof. You can watch. You can watch my bulletproof. Yeah, I'm watching your back. All right. I wish I could do 360s with this. Draining back. That's where I just. Totally totally knows where you are. <laughs> no, 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 no. She's clueless. <laughs> <laughs> He went to red hallway. Surely not. Maybe he's going up. Might be going wide stairs. <clears throat> yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. It's all over. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Well, if we had a, a competent Wamai that could have protected me from the flashbangs, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Oh. Yeah, nah. I'm sad now. That was so close, dude. I think you had that. <laughs> I just wanted the Tacheka kill so bad. <laughs> <sighs> Who do we do? Who do we do? I was playing some casual the other day as Blitz, it was a lot of fun. I'm gonna get a, a lot of hate for that, but gotta admit it, it was a lot of fun! Oh, Blitz, did you say? Yeah, Ooh, Blitz. Blitz! It was good fun. We uh, we did a few rounds where our goal was to... We, we had a rule. It was like It's like strat roulette. Our rule was no kills until the diffuser is down. We need to locate a bomb. And we were successful multiple rounds. Um, we just did, you know, a bit of a smoke, um, you know, lots of smokes, blitz, ying, uh, we forced the plant down while blitz went in and, and just smacked everybody, and of course that doesn't kill anyone, it only injures them, so it is allowed in the rule set. You could also do the same with Carly. Ah, it's a very fun bomb. strat roulette, I highly recommend it. Yeah, that sounds fun. Oh, we shot my drone. Imagine unmoist cocoa pops. Like that actually sounds pretty nice, to be honest. I would absolutely eat unmoist cocoa pops. Is that not a thing though? That people just like grab them and eat them? By yeah, the surely it is. I'm so sure that's a thing. Found a bomb. Make your way to its location. I, I'm just glad that this guy appreciates them as much as I do. Did we get raided or something? I swear our stream has over 400 views. There's 400 it, people watching the cast of Casual Stack. That is uh, <laughs> dedication to the cause. Welcome, guys. Um, if you have any particular operators or tips you'd like, feel free to ask for topics. But yeah, we would we would be happy to talk about them. And oh no! Oh hello! I'm dead. There's a bad guy. <laughs> I forgot that that was the yeah, bomb side. Quality gameplay. Quality gameplay. Just just don't ask that model what to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number one tip: just don't listen to Dev. <laughs> you gotta kill the bad guys, bro. Just kill the bad guys. Just click it. Bro. This guy gonna run out again? It's the real question of the Glass day. Glass is gonna win this, mate. I'm telling you right now. Is the guy in laundry? Oh, go! Wait, what side are they? Um, they're a library and they have a guy bottom white. There was a guy bottom white, he flanked up and killed this uh, glass. Wow. Pre placed drones from Guz. Oh, yeah, so. <laughs> I bet you expect a teammate to watch this for you. Not you. Yeah, don't worry, okay. I'm not intending to. <laughs> Did you get wall banged? Where was that from? Nah, he was prone in. Where was he? Prone where? In train. There's one in train, Buck. The dock. It do be like that. It be like that sometimes. Oh, he survives. And there's a mirror window. I just placed wire down. 
Yeah, you just okay. collided the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> just plant buff. Just plant. Trust. No, 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 don't go deep. Don't go deep. He's going deep. The mirror is just standing on the bookcase holding the mirror window out. On the bookcase. To the, yes, right where you were looking a second ago. <laughs> Oh, right there. Hell? She was <laughs> camouflaged. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> that is the most insane play I've ever seen. Parched whale is now my spirit animal. Totally deserved that win they did. Totally deserved it. <laughs> oh my. That was, uh, that was spicy. What a clutch, mate. Five and one. It's just when you lose to a, a gamer like that, you're like, okay, that's that's all right. We move on with our lives. I will forever well remember this day. Is, his picture is perfect. I'm parched as in it's the whale. Like, no. <laughs> the, the New Zealand it's video, not, right? Yeah, it's not coming up for me because he's left the game. Oh, no. Be Beach Des is the video. I remember, I remember when I was little and um, my mate came over and he's like, oh, I've got this hilarious YouTube video you got to watch. And he shows it to me. And, it's like one of those things where like sometimes it's just like really funny. Was your mate 30 when he said this? Because he just super deepened your voice to say no, that. No, I did not intend to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he just showed me this video and it's just this, this whale in a New Zealand accent saying, I'm Beach Des. <laughs> and I was just right. watching it thinking, yeah, I, I did not find, I didn't, I don't get it. <laughs> it's the funniest <laughs> experience. Is this a QA? Because I got a question for Gaz. Yes, Sushi, this is in fact a QA. Hi. <laughs> 1610 or 43 says Vig, I play on 3x2. Hey, me too. I switched to 3 2 recently from 4 3. I'm doing it for ages, and now if I play on anything other than 3 2, it just looks wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how people play 16 9 personally. It's just weird. <laughs> me too. I'm 3 2 is goat. 3 2 is the best balance. That's yeah. what I found. I wow, are agree. we really 3 2 gang here? All of us. Wow. That wow. synergy. Wow. Insane. I think that says a lot then, right? That is the ultimate statement. <laughs> don't play 3 2. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it'll be a cast. If you want to play like this, which you probably don't, <laughs> go 3 2. <laughs> All right, how do I get better at seeds? Because I watch Gus <laughs> and admire that he has never gone one and nine. Yeah, no, I, Gus, I don't think you've ever played a game with a negative KD. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, look, actually, um, I've actually never died, um, Dev. So, wow. look, um, all, I'll, all I'll say is sushi. Um, you just got to get good. That, that's wow. it. Yeah. Since we're talking about aspect ratios, I may as well demonstrate a few. So what's default is... Uh, resolution auto so it'll go by whatever your resolution is i'm playing on 1440p which is um oops 16 by 9 so uh this where is it 69 um and it's to do with kind of how it squishes and uh and moves the uh everything on your display. The bomb. So right now, you'll notice compared to before, everyone looks a lot taller and slimmer. And that goes for everything you see. Um, and even Dev Mata. Even Dev Mata, who is already quite tall and <laughs> slim. Already tall and slim. <laughs> <laughs> Dev Mata is 69 IRL. <laughs> <laughs> if you go the other direction, like what Cthulhu mentioned in chat, 5-4. Everything oh, is super already. short and squishy. And uh, the reason, there are a few reasons people do this. Um, the main reason people do this is because in very a very long time ago in old land tournaments, um, you didn't have... Uh, no, actually, I can't remember. It was something to do with the monitors, right? Oh, I can't even remember now. 16-9 then the kind of... Um, oh, I just missed. No! <laughs> a lot of the mentality here is that when people are squished, there's less distance between their head and their feet so it's much easier to your crosshair placement is closer already to the target um and what means is the bottom edges of your screen are actually stretched out and the the center of your screen is switched together um but yeah it does look a bit wet so i like three two we have a dock by any chance i have a deagle perfect good night let's carry a real you hit me up with that 
detected if you remain in this area. Oh. Op 4 has located a bomb. You have entered an enemy controlled area. Leave now. You have been spotted Second by time's the charm. Back. Hey. <laughs> I really want to kill this Twitch. She's looking for it. Oh, she thinks she's safe. That's cute. Nice he pre-fired where I moved to. No way, this guy's a god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I wish you could have seen that. Oh my god. I'm gonna go on cams. Uh, Alright, so Twitch is like. Uh, I can watch your cam now. You oh no, she was there! That's her! Oh my god, that was embarrassing. Oh, that was so awkward with the bars. Uh, there's still one ruins. Ash ruins. She's running towards sauna. Yeah, she's outside sauna door. Going towards kitchen. You have entered an enemy controlled area. Leave now. I can't repelling tell. Repelling VIP, repelling VIP. Alright. Oh, I can you ping. I can't see that. Oh, oh, nice! <laughs> that's uh, yeah, that's what happens when you get the Norringo... Norringo skin and the SI-19 charm. You immediately become Walker. It's proven. Um, quickly wrapping up the uh, aspect ratio thing. I, I was totally zoned out when you were talking, so I'm not sure if you said it. But the reason anybody would want to change their aspect ratio... Um, if you talk about the two extremes, with having the fatter player models in 4-3, psychologically that's easier to aim at, because it feels like you're aiming at something bigger. So your brain is more likely, or your eyes are more likely, to reproduce like an accurate aim. They are the bigger targets. And that's that. Cool. <laughs> and yeah, what I did say was when it's squished, um, the targets are squished. Um, they're wider, but they're shorter, so your crosshair placement, you don't have to move your mouse as far like from Raven before. IRL. Raven is 3-2, <laughs> and Dev is 16 oh. oh. Look, uh, I am short, and uh, <laughs> I am also now quarantine esports pod looking kind of dude, so... <laughs> oh, no. Ah, uh, yes. Grim has asked, I don't know, it's not a question, it just has a question mark at the end of it. Geo versus Geo wildcard versus TSM, question mark. I don't understand the question. Yes, there are, there oh, are two oh, which, one, which one would you prefer? Is, is he saying who would better? Who would play better? Uh, both are incredibly nuts players. Um, so individually, I don't know. I wrote for Geo. Ten seconds uh, remaining. Yeah, pretty uh, <laughs> one. Yeah. Pretty bold of you Five to seconds. guess that, but uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 a bit of a big call. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, located both a bomb. both players are very good. Uh, both teams are very good. Obviously, TSM a much more proven team than Wildcard, so be a safe bet that they would perform better in a matchup. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have done it again. Yeah, Stevenson again, good. bro. This guy loves me. <laughs> He's good, isn't he? This is two outside uh, storage. It's a Yana and a Jekyll. Oh! Oh, that was so close. Oh, well, that's true. Yana yeah. just repelled the roof. She went to hatch. Ah, oh, there's no one outside kitchen window. Sophia. There is one outside she's kitchen. Like, she's like pull side of the barriers, coming towards your door. She's running there, you can get her here. Oh! She's still there. I'm ping. I'm outside, baby. Oh! No! <laughs> You have been spotted by hey, nice. Bond are flying down from roof. You have entered an enemy controlled area. Leave now. Down to death. <laughs> Your location is <laughs> This should be illegal. Oh, yes. Right now. You will be detected if you remain in this area. You have been spotted by hostiles. Fall back. Ah, uh, one bathroom just dropped to, like, in penthouse now. One oh, that guy had it pre-placed. Okay. He is dead. <laughs> we are kind of bullying these guys. <laughs> oh, outside service door. I don't know if he's prone or not. I can't see him. Raven, can I'm you see him on my cam? Fine. The outside one. He's he's outside somewhere side. outside north. Uh, outside north. Yeah, really far north. Like, next to garage. I don't think he's actually on the garage roof. 
If Maybe he is. In zone, you will be I have no idea where he is, I can't see him. He's down the back of that thing. He's near my ping. Oh, is he? Oh, can't see that ping. <laughs> really I'm safe, bro. I'm really, really safe. I'm totally by. safe right now. Just res. Yeah, I'm safe, man. He will never suspect Could such easy. a brain move. Could Actually, easily get nade. Oh! 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 <laughs> oh! Oh, he's nading. He's nading. Get out of there. <laughs> you will be detected if you remain hey! Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> this, is, this is a game of move. <laughs> How did you get away with this, mate? <laughs> You're outside the whole shot. Oh no. <laughs> Whoa, what? Ah, <laughs> uh, see? No. Tip number one, you don't even aim in Siege. You just don't need to aim. It's an option. <laughs> it's just an optional feature. ADSing, that is. You still have to do some sort of aiming. Ah, yeah. Look, I'm going to try and make some more Nook plays work. Amaru does. Oh, look at this. I cannot wait this for the Amaru beautiful. rework. Oh, ha, ha, she's so fun. I mean, she's fun now, nuts. but she's even more enjoyable in the rework. She's nuts. Yeah. We need to locate a bomb. All right. That is a lesion mine. It's a Gusion, as we like to call them. Gusion? <laughs> yeah. Just look at that immense detail. You can even see the little green bits. I'm going to make him else. shoot his own Gusion. If he wants to shoot my drone, he must shoot the Gusion. This is the strat. <laughs> How to make your drone Someone invincible asks, 101. Do you, do you find you have to update your sense often? Well, that's, that's an interesting topic. Um... Personally, I haven't. I've sort of stuck with mine for quite some time now. Probably like, I don't know, three or four months. Um, some of the pros out there change it quite regularly. Um, I'm sort of the philosophy of trying to find one that's comfortable. And, uh, sticking with it, because it's going to be more consistent. But that's just me. I don't know. What do you guys think? I agree with the sentiment of sticking to a sense, because... I don't know, I'm a big uh, advocate for consistency, and I don't think you can be consistent changing your sensitivity. Um, what I would say when people say that they are the kind of person that needs to change their sensitivity often, is uh, what they're actually combating there is lazy aim. Because sometimes when you're on a sense for a long time, you just get a little bit lazy and you don't want to change how much you're aiming, so you just change your sense. So yeah, uh, so find something good and stick with it. Fuse, go, boom, 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 Oh my god, you're fusing me when I'm on site. <laughs> oh. oh no. Well, is that really Raven my is fault? the hostage. Probably. Hey, how did I get LMI? There's no one here. Dude. I know, where are they? <laughs> I'm no blue, apparently. <laughs> Stevenson again, dude. Oh my gosh. The arch nemesis. Yeah. Deathmart, if you don't avenge me, I swear. He's playing under blue stairs! Ah. Oh. Oh, the timing on that peak. Nice pick, bro. Ooh. Stevenson just got yeeted. Yeah, I got him for you. See? That's what a real caster duo does, Dev. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking out for my, looking out for my homie. <laughs> Reload! the uh, bomb here, but Cover me! <laughs> hey, Thatcher, do you want to, um, plant the diffuser so we can defuse the bombs? Oh! <laughs> Now that's just toxic, mate. That's just toxic. <laughs> I hope you lose oh. this now. Hey, shush. I win these. Oh no. That was yeah, so bad. That was such red time. Yeah, I just entered some red double. <laughs> Two oh. went out, hookah. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow, yeah. that was uh... a... Yeah, it was a clean shot. Uh, it was a clean shot. That's all I'll say. <laughs> <gasps> um, just back to the uh, the changing your sense thing. I agree that it's you should strive to have a consistent sensitivity. That said, um, 
I had an issue recently where I just was really la lacked a lot of confidence playing, um, especially when I was getting wide swung and I, I couldn't track my aim fast enough because I run a fairly low sensitivity. Um, and so I put it up by, I think, two notches, which is about 20% for my sensitivity, um, which is quite substantial, actually. 20% um, increase in sensitivity. And yeah, um, I used it for a bit and it was pretty good. And then once I felt like, I, and then again, I got to the point where, hey, this is probably a bit too sensitive. I don't have as much granular control as I need, but I'm, I've am i regained my uh, confidence. So I, I just reverted it back. Um, and now I'm back on playing 10 in game sensitivity. So, yeah. I just, nice. sometimes it can be helpful to use as a way to kind of freshen things up if you're a bit tilted or a bit feeling like you're really struggling with just we anything. Need to locate a bomb. Well, to build on like what I was saying with lazy aim, <clears throat> I feel like that's really prevalent in the really low sensitivities because you have to be moving your arm like quite distances sometimes to flick. And like if you're just a bit tired or your arm's a bit sore or you didn't warm up well, you're less likely to want to be doing those movements, so you're less likely to do them, and so you miss more. Um, so that's kind of what I mean by lazy aim, and that's something that happened to me as well. Like, I tried to go down to 400 DPI and play a relatively low sense, uh, but I just found more often than not, I was, like, under-flicking my shots because I Ten just seconds. couldn't be bothered doing the full movement. So I just bumped it up a bit, and... Five yeah. seconds to insertion. We're good with it now. <laughs> oh. Mission is to locate and defuse a bomb. <laughs> nice. I feel like there is more spawn picking in casual than there is in ranked. You guys feel that? Oh yeah. Um, what side are they by the way? Pika. As if you would do that to me. As if you would do that to me! I killed the bad guy. One full table. <laughs> drinks now. Aqua's clear, he's just drinks. Alright. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't matter. I was gonna nade. No, I was gonna claim more. Right, I'll go for default. Is that drinks? Why pin? Dead. Nice. Back Puka. I wall banged him. <laughs> Located. So loud. Left default up. Oh, I just pre fired this guy. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we yeeted them. We did yeet that's them. How you, that, uh, that's how you attack. We yeeted them and then Luka. they were yoked. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeet. What you're saying is it's okay to be lazy. Um, I don't know if, like, that's, <laughs> that's kind of what I'm like. So it's okay to be forgiving, I think, is is what's, what I'd take away from that. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're struggling and you think you just need to give yourself a little bit of a, a cheat, if you will, um, get, to get your confidence back, like, your confidence is probably more important than the consistency. And if you don't have confidence, that's probably worse than, like, that little extra bit of edge in um, your mechanics that the consistency gets. I just encourage experimenting as well. You might find that sticking it out is better for you. You might find adjusting it is uh, also good. So just experiment, find what you're comfortable with. But just importantly, find like a sense you're comfortable with that you can stick with for a while because you shouldn't be changing it every week, for example. I think that's definitely bad. Yeah, I agree with that. Tell you what, I'm excited for the menu music can still wave. <laughs> <laughs> I remember thinking it was a banger when I played TTS. Hmm. I normally have the music off because I'm streaming or whatever, so. I'm currently Unlucky listening for me. to the Spotify music. If anyone's interested in what this playlist we're listening to on Spotify is, it is one recommended by Raven. It's called Harris Heller Stream Beats. You can find that on Spotify. Would recommend. Very chill. Very chill. Uh, what are we? Shall I? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Cthulhu. 
Dula's on the other team. Cheeky little cue snipe, eh? Strap snipe. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? What, what are we defending? Cellar, hey? Yeah. The Battle of the Casters. Urgh. Say, so, hey, guys, can I grab... Or oh, Raven, never mind. I don't need your impact. I can just borrow Raven's shotgun. Raven, can I borrow your shotgun? Do I do the music for the ANZ comps? <laughs> uh, look. I don't. <laughs> I can I can endorse that playlist, though. Hey, the ANZ music is... it's It goes hard. I mean, what that you guys playlist is available on Spotify, I'm pretty sure. It right? is, actually, yeah. yeah. What you guys at home don't see is... Um, because we're broadcasting from home, the way the audio sort of works is it is for us so loud. You, <laughs> you can hardly hear the other person. It is so loud. So th thankfully the music's all right. Otherwise it would not be pleasant. <laughs> it is It is literally so loud. And you bring me to life. Yeah, that's the one that sticks out the most. Oh, no. <laughs> you bring me to life. <laughs> Bro, that's giving me flashbacks to the studio. I'm going to cry. <laughs> Every week, mate. Every week. That yeah. song on my head for like five hours straight. I think Raven was starting to get annoyed at me. Every time it came on, I'd start talking. Part of me. I'd start singing it. Um, Raven, could you yeah, make me the wine stop good. rotate, please? I can do that. Um, Ow! Yeah. Oh. Guys! It's been done, that, guys. You took um, 11 I'm everyone HP with my impacts. Me. Yeah, that, that playlist sucks. Definitely does. Um, Raven, could you sure fix you this the rotate hole that Guz made to make it, like, sprintable? Because Guz just oh, ruined yeah, everything. I'm pretty sure if you get exclamation mark playlist, I made a command on the main channel and it should give you the playlist. Unless it got changed, that should, I'm not sure. That should work, right? That's good right there. <laughs> Better now. Lion. Being E1, dude. Now, did you know, Dev Mato, that the, um, the visual scanner actually, uh... I have no idea. Covers you. It cloaks you from the line. Okay, did you know that? I had no idea. Thanks for telling me. <laughs> trench door. That's an OG oh, joke. <laughs> Don't worry, I, I got trench. I'll hold it. trench. I'll hold the trench. And that's two of them already wasted. How not to play Lion 101 right here. We're doing Lion tutorial. Don't do what this guy is doing. Yeah, don't play Lion. <laughs> yeah, that, that also. <laughs> Enemy and, oh, there you go. There's another one. Another one. Oh no. Is that outside snow? Yeah. Oh no. Oh, kaboom. Oh no. Oh, this guy's uh, at the snowmobile. Uh, he... Bottom, bottom uh, west. Man. Yep, yep, that's him dead. Oh. Oh, I thought Operate you wall banged just then. <laughs> oh, yeah, he still yeah, makes sense. Come back up to fireplace. He is going dining. No, he's fucking lobby. Uh, now he's going dining. He's in dining now. With buck hatch. Haven't heard him drop yet. I'm not sure. <laughs> what is happening? I don't know, bro. Where am I hearing it? Oh, he's main stairs again. What? Main stairs again. Yeah, main stairs. Still Let's main stairs. Go. He's in. Snowville. Okay. Yeah, I had this guy totally covered, bro. Totally covered. <laughs> Nice division skin on the MP. Uh, sorry, the UMP. Respect. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> My favorite cross Ubisoft skin is the Splitter Cell skin for the P90. Yes. Yeah, that is quite underrated. Nice. <clears throat> it's also, been there from the very start as well, I think. Mm, like, and day one. <laughs> I used to main the P90 when I played um, Splinter Cell. Such a good gun. I um, I really like the Watchdog headgear for Ash as well. That's pretty cool. Oh, is that with like a um, it's like the black scarf over her mouth, and it's got yeah. like the the watchdog symbol. Yeah, nice. I like the, it. Yeah, the Gris one's pretty cool as well for the, the scorpion. I think it is. Oh yeah, that one is that one is. I've actually played Gris. I have not played it either. 
Apparently it's really good there. Secure the area. Yeah. Keep yeah. the bombs oh, protected. I have got it in my um Steam library actually. So I okay. should play it. Hey, Lips. Okay. I didn't reach that time. Spotted. Are you serious? There's a drone down in Stoneville. I see it. Op 4 is located in the bomb. Camera activated. Well, apparently I have angle grip on my MPX. I don't remember doing that. Reloading! Oh, interesting. Okay. If you remain in this zone, you will be detected by hostiles. Where was that? I am confuzzled. What the? Fireplace, I thought. Yeah, I've got no clue. Yeah, a window? Fireplace. fireplace. Window. There's also a blitz left side of the door. Oh no, I impacted myself. I'm so bad with the impacts tonight. Not that guy. Is that blitz in here? Blitz main door still. You Another one out, out long. Out top of Location has been compromised. One outside up. That's blitz. I'm gonna beat outside. Five place dead. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> One out four remaining. I don't know where the other guy is. Yeah, neither. I'm just pretty fine. Really? Huh? Oh, attachment. Me. Suppressor. She's right above. Puzzle. Mm -hmm. huh? Right above where? Uh, like top five place this. Oh. Oh, I just got flicked on. Ah, uh -huh. <laughs> nice. The refrag. Unbelievable refrag ability. Boop. Um. Yeah, sorry. Favorite barrel attachment. We get deep in that. Muzzle break. Muzzle break goat. Oof. I'm a flash hider. Sorry. I'm a flash hider main slash comp. I'm pretty 50-50 on both, so I'm just going to say suppressor. I don't use muzzle <laughs> on anything, sorry. So I can't comment. I need to test really? it. Really? Wow. Yeah, I don't worry. I'm a yeah. flash hider kind of guy. I'm going to play get some suppressor on that grind. Right hmm. I don't know who to play. I'm going to play Carly again. Uh, I didn't have enough time to put my black ice on. What am I meant to do? Best pea shooter in the game. Well, that's going to be Cavs M12, surely. Hmm. I love the... um. We need to locate a bomb. C C11, is that what it's called? The the um the 9mm um, one that Frost has? Was it 9mm? Oh, yeah. I don't remember what that's called, eh? See something with some numbers in it. That's a fave of mine. Actually, very underrated. I honestly think it's like it has no recoil, basically, and it's higher damage than uh, than Vegas gun, if I recall correctly. Um, main problem yeah, is just that uh, low that fire, fire rate compared to it. It's it's still not terrible. It does pack a punch though. I have a Wamai. Your mission is to locate and defuse a bomb. Wait, what side are they? Oh, it's a trophy. Get me up here. I can't get up here! There used to be Love a really clash. cool vault that. Westman. Oh, I don't think we can do it anymore. Flash in West Main? I'm built for this. Kind of. I might have damaged everything I shot. In bathroom, I think? No, in master. Vigil dead. 
Turns out more bullets isn't always better. <laughs> I just missed like three heads in kitchen. Oh, I'm really sad. Diffuser is no longer in your possession. He won't know you coming from there, surely, guys, if you peek him. The diffuser has been recovered. I'm on your cam, guys. Is anyone here anymore? No, it's, it's just. Yeah. I wonder where that area. guy just died from. I oh. was above. Nice. I think that was flash. Yeah, it was. Your camera's clear, but Nuts. it could be. Um, could be. I guess I don't know. Not seeing West Main. I'm gonna try and get a long angle into trophy because I saw a bunch in trophy. Oh yeah, hard right, hard right. Oh no! What's he doing? <laughs> He's hiding, bro. Oh no! Oh no no no! You teasing me? Last stop standing. Oh, I don't know where that was. Oh, hey. Hey. <laughs> I flicked you just before that one. This is nasty. This is just nasty right here. Oh, <laughs> mom, get the camera. I love Kali. Like to see that kind of stuff. Yep. Very nice Kali there. Almost as good as my Finca outfit. Oh, I missed it. Oh, that's alright. Mainly, mainly just the gun skin, you know. You know. You know. <laughs> I am. Uh, I'm super excited for the Kali update in Still Wave. Like, yeah, legit. me too. I think there's going to be some infighting for uh, who plays her. Yeah. The <laughs> That's very true. One more then. One more. One more for the road. Kind of lost yeah, track of time, to be honest. Yeah, I can't believe it's almost 11. <laughs> oh, I've, um, I've recently been changing all my skins for my operators and... Man, there are just so many good skins these days. I I don't know who I want to showcase anymore. Because I've got like... Um, I think what I've got at the moment is... Sledge and Mozzie. Because Mozzie with the, um, the SI skin is just beautiful. I've got all these SI skins as well for um, Sledge. What else is run? Uh, oh, Tough, dude. The Habana is amazing with the Nora Ringo and the SI outfit put together. It's just so good. What else? Oh. I love me some Maverick as well. Got the uh, random skater boy helmet for him. Which, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, he does have some pretty cool headgear and stuff these days. Yeah, I actually play quite a bit of uh, Mav. He really does look like a painter, doesn't he? When he's like, got that kind of patchwork flannel. Yeah. No FNC skin on Mavericks M4? I have it, I must just not have equipped it. Skater blue with the blue mafia looking yes, uniform. the best casual map <laughs> This is a send off, right? Cause house is, yes. uh, well actually Pretty house much. will still be available in casual. Um, actually, I'm, I'm not sure about that one. Don't don't quote me on that. I think it was training ground. So I remember. Wait, what? Are they keeping it in? No, I'm not sure, actually. Didn't... To be honest. Yeah. Don't quote me know. on it. Quote I'm him on it. I'm gonna Do back it. out. I'm gonna <laughs> back out of that one. Not touch it with a ten foot pole. Zephyr Elite skin. <laughs> I don't I like know to it. play. I'm gonna play Gridlock. I wish I played Zephyr more. I'd probably get it. It's pretty clean in my opinion. Oh yeah, I forgot that's out now. I need to buy that. Yeah, I want astronaut to get MVP now. <laughs> True. Let's all let's all not get any kills. We'll feed them all. <laughs> let's we'll just try and get D DBNOs and then just start <laughs> getting into. Him to <laughs> I swear we would get more points for the DBNO though, because you get the kill assist and you get the injure points, which is 125 uh, total. Yeah, but if we're sharing the load, you know, like he's getting all the kill points. Nah, oh, nah. You only get 100 for a kill, 125 for a DB now and an assist, so I'm afraid it doesn't work like that. Do we I was really about trust to say. Marta for the map here, or? <laughs> I was about to say, I just realized we have no hard breach, and then I realized, oh crap, I'm the hard breach! <laughs> <laughs> Ten seconds. I'll do the triple wall. <laughs> got super shorty, so. Five seconds. I'll do the triple wall. Wow, they're really struggling to shoot my camera. 
Located can you, uh, his buff, guys, can you buff the triple wall just on the you left side? The the has been Thanks, love. The things I do for you. Uh, smacking the, uh, yeah. upturned table. I don't even know call that's Office, isn't it? No, office is in the corner. Oh, surely you get rid of some of this for me, for all time's sake. <laughs> Ooh, that's a C4. I have never Maverick tricked this wall before. Uh oh. That guy just died. I'm at the back watching. Surely I'm gonna have <laughs> enough tor oh. torch gas for this. Oh, you just got deleted, brother. You just got deleted. <laughs> oh. I'm back rushing. Oh, there's a oh, car. There's, oh, there's a frost. There is no greater joy. There's like one uh, Jaeger Jim rotate. I don't know if he's in here. I don't know where the other one is. Oh, there you go. They're on pins. Oh, boys, touch it up. Land. Oh, traded. No. Jim rotate last thing. This is an easy dub, dude. Whoa, oh, my god! <laughs> no! <laughs> Uh, on me, Jim, 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 double, going to bottom main. One last friendly scene. operator remaining. There's a bulletproof cam near laundry. Oh, you got it. Okay. We can call you what's south door. Diffuser is online and active. Classic Zip, 5,000 kilometers away. <laughs> oh no. Diffusing. Oh, oh no, oh, god, oh, damn. Oh, oh my god! It's only four seconds, I thought he was gonna oh, get it then. Oh no. Oh <laughs> that no. Must have been so close. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh <laughs> no. What did that boat ever do to you? <laughs> oh no. I'm scared. <laughs> that was uh, that was terrifying. You scared me, dude. Yeah, I'm, I scared myself to be honest. <laughs> oh, oh man, I, honestly, there is nothing more enjoyable than mavericking a wall like that. So good. It's up there with like pulling off a reading defense on cafe. Ah, yes. Or denying the plan on zero zero. Or sticking a plan on zero zero and then winning the round. In a clutch. That's that rate's up there. Okay, two of them just came down to garage. They're Rook going as well. for the garage, Rio, or the garage run out. I reckon it's the run out. I believe it. No, I hear Rio's. So they want you to think, dude. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're gonna stop they're rearing fake. on zero zero and just like yeah. smack they're doing two out. rios, but they're actually gonna run out. <clears throat> oh, well, I don't hope they do. I like them rearing stuff. It just means I can maverick. <laughs> means I'm relevant, you know. Your mission is to locate and defuse a bomb. Oh, they actually reared all of them. Oh, Elite oh, uh, yeah, 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 oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just heard an ally. Was that you? <gasps> yeah. What? I was ADS way away from you. I'm very confused. I know, that was, yeah, that was weird. I, yeah, I was confused too. I didn't think you were anywhere near me behind. <laughs> you messed up a bit. Oh. Wasn't it again? Wait, what side are they? Uh, I think it's split. Uh oh. Oh. That guy's. What are you doing? Close. No! Northeast. I got Northeast. shot through my Maverick hole! I just saw him. That's so unfortunate, bro. 
I got stuck. I'm stuck. Stuck. There's one in kitchen, and Mute was in garage. There's a little Maverick hole Blackbeard you can use on the right hand side. Rifle shield mounted. Ah. Uh, what are you doing, mate? There's one on the main stairs. Really? <laughs> what I was trying to do was get an angle towards like uh, the lobby. Nice. Down to one friendly. We have been oh, well, you win some, you lose some. It's true. At least I got the wall open. See, that's the thing. When you play support, you open up the wall, and you're like, wow, I'm so useful. Even if you lose the round, uh, you still get that immense you satisfaction. You did your job, man. It's all about that satisfaction. <laughs> who, who would be proud of me? You are. Me? I'm proud of you. Oh, thanks, Raven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Did you say sweat? Okay, I'll play sweaty. Well, yeah, that's why I picked Valkyrie. Yeah. Yeah. When we were doing the uh, the preview event for the um, the new season for Steel Wave. Well, it was on house, obviously. Yeah. And, like, we played quite a few games and... The last one was really close, and uh, my team was down like two rounds, and it was match point against us. And at that point, I was like, "All right, come on, time to get sweaty. Uh, Can't lose lucky. this to all the media That's reporters." The so, uh, yeah, whipped out the Valkyrie and killed two people on the run out. It was great. Oh, you're nuts, dude. I'm just, I, I'm kind of ashamed, to be honest. Did you clip it? No, I, actually, oh, I, it I might have. Then. I might have actually. It didn't happen. No clip. It didn't happen. I believe it. <laughs> There's a clip of Dev getting uh, getting stomped on though. I've seen that on Twitter a couple of times. Oh, and yeah. no, and Job Water killed me. Yeah. Yeah. Job. You got a question? Five, He's casting six masters on Tuesday from the YouTube chat. Pretty sure that's me. Oh. Yeah. Who's me? Uh, you and sure you and the Noxa. Mr. Zen. Zenioch. <laughs> Mr. Zeniox. Oh, they didn't repeat. That just makes me sad. Oh, it feels bad, man. I kind of feel bad, because that Maverick just doesn't exist anymore. Oh, they baited me from behind. That's really sad. <laughs> I deserve that. Oh, there's one, there was one on the uh, the tree house. Not the tree house. The south roof. Like... Oh, my. There's, oh, no. Why are they still so deep in spawn? Oh, no. That's what you got to do. Yeah, they're there, yeah. Run out, they're, scared they're out, bro. They're out, Sal. So. I'm scared, Mum. <laughs> ah, it's gonna be until I can. Oh, I cannot even. Oh, am I all out of cams? Oh no, I just. There is. What? Is that a repel? They went around the front door. They're like near front door or something, dude. One out garage, dip. Hello? Directly? If like north face, north face, north face. Oh, there's multiple. Yep, that's, that's you will be oh, hello. He's still peeking me. I am now smoked. He got smoked. I'm off. safe, bro. I'm safe. <laughs> I'm totally safe. No, nope, I don't. I'm not gonna let them finish this. Damn it! I wanted to fall <laughs> off the edge. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it still credits the down though. Oh, it's true. This is getting intense, mate. <laughs> I'm just spam picking these guys. Op 4 found a bomb. You must defend it. It's community takeover now. We're getting in two randos from Twitch chat to go to Six Mars. Yeah, that's why Dev's doing it. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> touché, touché. <laughs> this dog could be hat cams and is coming all the way out to kill this camera. Oh, no. Actually, is. <laughs> Why does she repel down to do that? <laughs> That's a good question. Surely not. It's alright. Ash Razor 2K and Astronaut. Reloading. I'm gonna win this, I'm telling you. Hey, we actually want this Legion to pop off here for the MVP, remember? Yeah, but we do have to go Dave's to overtime and get him to, uh... 
We have to go to the overtime and get attack for that to happen. <laughs> yes. And for him to pick Zafia. This, uh... This guy's pinched, man. Oh, peek it, surely. Yeah! On a ledge. <laughs> I can hear. Oh, he's above the main door. Down. So he's like main door. Boy. Window? 15 seconds Gym? left. Main door. Oh, insane. <laughs> what an absolute game. Oh, Yeah, it's a shame we're not going to be able to see the Sophia Elite, man. There is still hope. Maybe. We have to lose this round. That boy was our last hope. <laughs> Come on, someone finish the line. There you go! Thank you! Mm -hmm. I was waiting for <laughs> it. Ah. Uh, kids. Well, let's go. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm going to try a spawn pick that I have not tried in at least two years. And that's not even exaggeration. <laughs> I respect that. Wait, what is it? Which one? I'm not going to say it. You'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. And then if it doesn't work out, you can just laugh at me and I'll never say what it was. <laughs> <laughs> also, apparently you did the mirror thing wrong, Dev. What, the mirror you pose? For the pose. Photo. Yeah, I, I didn't tilt my head. What else Secure did I Secure the really area. Do? Keep the bombs protected. Uh, the hand thing apparently is different. Well, I didn't check it beforehand, did I? <laughs> so, I'm sorry for trying to pose in a photo. Know. Nah, man. You gotta do this oh, right. yeah, yeah, I, I did it like upside down. Maybe I wasn't trying to do the mirror thing. Maybe I was just doing a Dev Mata pose and everyone else is just... <laughs> the Dev Mata MVP the, screen. Oh, the, <laughs> yeah, exactly. The Dev Mata MVP screen. Oh, Only plays when you get zero kills in an overtime what is game. This Raven. This is uh, not part of the spawn pick, it's a fun little angle that I just made. Enjoy. Thanks, bro. I expect big things. Ah, that's a bad idea. Shouldn't expect big things from there. Good night. That is such the old classic. Oh, that's the bomb as well. Bomb on ping. Oh, no one spawned time. in the spot for me to shoot. Bomb has been still left on the hill. Well, this was a fail because no one spawned the stage. They collected the bomb and went to the east. If you remain Oops! In zone, you I really accidentally hit my mouse against my keyboard. Why is I fail? Why is I fail? Was it on? She on? Where? Another one on ping. I will watch over us. Hey! Another one. Oh my oh, god. Guys. Are we on for the ASIC? It should... is time to stop. You will be detected if you remain in this area. Uh, APC spawn. Like, actually, you spawn. I can't ping it. I can get this ace totally. I can totally get this. <laughs> You've got Game. this. You've got this. Not if I have anything to so say hard, about man. it. Ah, uh, I can see him. He's behind like the the shed garden thing. I don't know what to call it. A eh? that's like. Oh, here we go. We're on, boys. <gasps> Was that him? No, no, no. Oh no, yeah, that's the Thatcher. Fast out. Still APC spawn. <laughs> I really want this. Oh, I'm gaming. Going east side. Oh, oh! oh, no. oh yeah, it was a good killer. Surely. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. I'll give it to you. Oh, no way. That's dirty. <laughs> I'm gonna take it, mate. No, oh, I got the Dev Mata MVP screen coming. MVP soon. on three kills. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Let's add that to the list nice. of um. Things that feel really good in Rainbow Six. MVPing and not getting the most kills. <laughs> huh. like, That's what it's, uh, it's not about, so. Yeah. Right on.
Okay. Um, wow, we actually have to stop playing games now. Jeez. Can you imagine? I know. All right. Wait, didn't we have like a script? Didn't we have like a sh stuff we were actually meant to talk about? <laughs> Look, I, I think we did a great job talking about those things already. Yeah, it's true. Um, we talked about Wamai. And if you want tips yeah. on Wamai, probably rewind and go back before we were just doing random stuff in casual in quick match. <laughs> um, we have a cafe as well, particularly the call outs. So people aren't yeah. so familiar with call outs. I think that's really valuable. So would recommend going back over. We also talked to, to you guys. I feel like this episode, you are as much of one of us as uh, as a guest. Oh. Um, <laughs> that ca cast a synergy. Yeah, all that, that, <laughs> that cast a synergy. In the blood. Um, but yeah, we, we talked about how you also do um, casting, not just casting, but the uh, the content creation stuff you do on the side, TikTok, Twitch. Um, to anyone who's maybe following at the moment, but interested in, in keeping up to date with your stuff and your content, um, the, the floor is yours, guys. Convert cool. them. Cool. <laughs> um, so if you guys want to watch me stream, I stream uh, pretty frequently at the moment, twitch.tv slash guzcasts. Um, if you want to follow me on uh, on my social medias and see what I'm getting up to, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all at Guzcasts. So it's, it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple. Guzcasts. It should be on the overlay, I think, anyway. But yeah, if you want to stay up to date, that's where you'll find me. Cool. Man, I, I heard the wallalo in chat just then. Like, you know, you just converted everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, my phone. It's, oh, it's dinging. Oh, I've got 3,000 followers already. Oh, my God. Perfect. <laughs> Love to see it. Um, so we're also going to be chucking a, uh, six masters t-shirt your way and a, uh, year five pass. I know I actually already yes. got you a six masters t-shirt, which literally arrived today. You're welcome, <laughs> but you get another one. Thank you. Um, and a year five pass. So, um, yeah, if you have any intentions to do any giveaways and stuff, um, let people know. Yeah, what stay tuned. You. Yeah. I've already got the pass. So <laughs> someone else will have it. So yeah. I'll awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Um, other than that, we've got new episodes of Late Night Siege every Friday at 8 p.m. on this channel, whatever channel you're watching right now, Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, whatever it is, make sure you're following so you get notification when we go live next week with a new guest. Me and Raven will be here again, but we get rid of Guz, thankfully. Um, and <laughs> speaking of getting rid of Guz, we've got six masters this week as well. It'll be me and Xenox <laughs> casting. So get another break from Guz. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> You'll have that's to watch right. your They've already the B tier talent, you know, that's how it is. Yeah, so it is. Um, yeah, so that's <laughs> this Tuesday and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, so Sydney time. Chuck that into Google to convert it from wherever you are. Um, yeah, be there. Got some really good matches coming up. We're really getting to that point in the season where uh, teams are looking like they might be able to steal other teams' spots for playoffs or, or whatever it is, just for, for placings to the prize pool as well. So... I don't know. I'm really keen for that. Um, it should be great. Um, other than that, any, any last things that you guys want to touch on before we close? Um, just on Six Masters and esports in general, I mean, there might be some viewers here that haven't really dabbled that much in the whole esports side. Uh, I'd just say go for it because you can learn so much from watching esports competitive matches. And we've been seeing some really good quality Six Masters matches. So for sure, tune in on Tuesday and Wednesday. I'm feeling like they're not going to disappoint. Yeah. And especially if you're a late night siege fan or have you enjoyed the stream tonight, maybe you're a fan of Guz's um, TikToks and, and all that kind of nonsense, then uh, <laughs> we're the guys who are doing the Six Masters as well. So you get to yes. you get to listen to our voices and watch our faces again. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I leave that <laughs> up to you. But anyhow, guys, thank you for watching tonight. If you want to stay up to date with us, make sure you're following all the Rainbow Six ANZ socials, Twitter, Facebook, wherever it is that you hang out um also myself and raven you can see our socials on stream and we'll have lots more stuff coming your way very soon but that's all from tonight we'll see you next week cheers guys <laughs>